Alright, welcome back to Grim Hollow Boom Boys. As usual, we'll start with one of our players giving us the recap for the game so far. Today, let's finally get Steve to give us the recap. <clears throat> well, uh, where we left off before was that we had entered the house where the murder was committed. Discovered the Jack in the Box clown creature. We knocked it through the trap door of the treehouse where it fell to its death. And we went back to see Boone and Tanachi's father. In which I believe we settled our differences. Except now we have a new mission that is. A paying mission to kill the king if I remember correctly mm-hmm something along those lines yeah okay yeah we'll go we'll roll with that um, today's episode by the way is sponsored by the local loaded tea shop South Nutrition we'll talk more about that later in the episode but with all of that it's time for Grim Hollow Boom Boy session 10 debt collection to kill a king. Uh, Tanachi and Boone, you both receive inspiration. Um, I got some bad news. You haven't used your point. I haven't used my other inspiration yet. Okay, who does who who does not have inspiration right now? Whoever first first call first serve. Well, I, um, I need mine. Oh, I haven't gotten one. Okay. Was it... Uh, Ethan, you had yours, right? Question mark. Uh-oh. We lose them? It was either Ethan or Chris. I can't remember. Yeah, we'll give... We'll give Drew this one. So, Tanachi... Well, Tanachi, you're already getting one. Drew's already getting one. So, who's our... I second? I it was either Chris or... And you, because yeah, you got one last time, and I think you, I think you, I think you and Ethan got it last time, and so we'll Probably. give. So then we'll say it was Chris. Yeah, we'll give we'll give Chris one once he once he gets here. Uh, for now, we are missing him, but hopefully he'll show up. Uh, but we'll kind of roll from here. Uh, so you all have been resting for two days so far, because uh, I'm gonna roll back, because last last session. I said that y'all did your three days rest, but uh, that's a lie. Y'all have done two days so far. <laughs> um, and that's because um, I think also at the end of day two, uh, Boone kind of woke y'all up and y'all did some activities anyways. So that kind of fits. Um, and y'all have been planning what to do in regards to dealing with Alfric uh, after Jeremiah has given a hit for 7,200 gold. Um, to be split amongst you. Um, it is now New Year's Eve at 10.38 p.m. And the last day to plan and rest before doing this dangerous task. As you all sit in the fixed horn, you hear the sound of excitement and a crowd growing outside. I'll let you all kind of... I have more, but I, I want to, you know, leave some space there for you guys. I wonder what's going on outside. Yeah. Okay. So as Arambori, as you exit the end, you see I a look out the window. Yeah. Okay. Arambori, eh, he ain't throwing himself out there. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can work with that. So when you look out the window, you see a party as the villagers are drinking and dancing, and there's like in the middle of the town square. On like in like one of the because you know that's all platforms in the in the biggest platform is kind of the town square in the middle you see two caged small furry creatures with a single horn in the middle of their heads and a makeshift uh, painted racetrack in the middle of of that platform mm -hmm. uh, and like the first the first of these furry creatures is black furred with 
tufts of white on the ears. And the second is an entirely brown one. And I'll actually go ahead and present the photo. Uh, I will not fall to the folly of gambling. Yeah, or if y'all are in roll 20, I'm going to go ahead and show the creature. I, I took some liberties, by the way, Steph. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You said a rabbit, but then I was like... <laughs> oh, that's... Oh. Oh. It's a little uni... It's a unirabbit. It's a... Um, it's an almirage. It's a rabbicorn. It's an almirage. Um... On that note, I'm gonna come slumberly. You know, I was trying to take my nap. <laughs> gambling. Excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, actually. Oh, shit, no, I can't let. Wait, Lexnor, no. <laughs> gambling. You're already senile. Don't start gambling too. <laughs> yeah, I have you know, I'm quite good at gambling. Yeah, so. Uh, Boone will follow Lexnor. So Boone and Tanachi kind of know what's going on, but that's up to you guys to explain. Uh, it sounds like Laxnor, you're leaving the fixed horn to go. Kind of check this. What's going on? I'm Emily and this man looking out the window. I'm assuming it's outside. Should yeah, it's outside. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not looking. I'm not going out there. I'll walk <laughs> out the window. I will wander out the door. Hey. Aaron Bors PTSD doesn't Boone. let him enter big crowds. <laughs> Boone will go out because I imagine Boone and Tanachi know what this is. Yeah. Yeah. Boone. I mean. You helped come up with this idea out, out above yeah. board. So, but yes, Boone knows what's going on. The, it's the Almirage chase. Um, it happens every New Year's Eve. It, <coughs> and I'll, if you wish to explain the rest, you can to the party as it happens. But uh, I assume... No, Aaron... Boone's not going to say anything. Okay. Unless directly asked about it. Okay. Um... So, Laxnor, as you as you stumble outside, kind of still weary from your nap, because it is late. It's ten thirty eight p. Like it's it's ten, it's almost eleven at this point. Like, so they're getting ready for this to happen. So that way, like, the race ends right at midnight. And but also, like, as you stumble out, uh, somebody immediately is like, "Would you like some beer?" And they hold up, like, a free... They hold up a, 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 a whole, you know, mug of it. Oh, thank you, and I grab it just to go ahead and turn it back. <laughs> Instantly gets poisoned. Um, Boone will chuckle at that. Yeah, so, yeah, you, you enjoy your... your it tastes it tastes nice and smooth going going down and nice and warm, and it's quite good. Yeah, and almost has this um, it's it's it almost has this like w wooden, you know what I'm talking about, where it's like oaky flavor. Yeah, oaky. Yeah, it's nice. It's suiting to the environment. Yes. Um, glad you enjoy. It's the Almeras Chase. It's the ultimate party at the end of the year. Feel free to partake of dancing and drinks and the gambling for the race itself. The gambling? Okay. Yes. Gambling. Uh, gambling? Yes, entirely legal. The city and the, and it's hosted by both the city and the Fink family. You hear that, Boone? Gambling. Hmm. I'm aware. Well, let's go find it. Um, Boone, you would also be aware of how much the city and the Finks make from this gambling. Um, is it... It is, is it a... a lot or a little bit? It's a lot. The way the system works, generally, is that the every, everybody who has gambled, you know... It, just like any other system, the winner gets their gets the winnings. But as the house, 
the village and the Fink family get two thirds of it that they split amongst themselves before giving the winnings to the winners. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh. Boone knows this is that like the house always. Good thing he's a member of the house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why you would know this. Like, like the, the the basically because they're hosting, they take their cut, no matter who wins. But like, it's not a it's not a rig system. Like nobody pick like they don't rig the yeah. rabbit to win. They yeah. Yeah, like it's literally fifty fifty. Just pick the right rabbit. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Well, I'm gonna wander wander up to these furry caged animals. Yeah. Uh, they kind of, are you, are you approaching kind of with, what kind of intent do you have? I want to come look at the rabbits and examine my, uh, greyhound, so to speak. Okay, so you're not, yeah, so you're, you're, you're coming with, like, not quite good intentions, but not quite bad. Um, <laughs> and, uh, curious, and, uh, I guess, uh, what would that be, um, Decision making intentions. Yeah, and so they kind of trail dying rabbit. Yeah, so like the first, which one are you approaching first, the black furred or the brown? I will take the black furred. Okay, and so it kind of looks up at you and does the little no, the little nose scrunches, you know, and yeah, kind of like, like it sniffing at you in return, like trying to study you. It's 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 busy gnawing on some nice carrots, getting a nice little crunchy carrot before before the big race. Uh, is there a person collecting the uh, bets here? Yeah, you see, um, kind of this shifty-looking guy that's like part of the you know the Fink. Very obviously works for the Finks, and he's like taking all the bets in. He's got like a notepad where he's scratching all the notes of how much people have paid so far and there's even like a board with um like the current like numbers so to speak yeah like the pot roughly. yeah and it's currently looking pretty good right now the pot's like sitting at so far about 5,427 gold has been put into this race I see um, uh, yes, you, good sir. Ah, yes! How can I help um, you? you? You're here to make a bet? Yes, and I'm just gonna drop 1,000 gold on the, uh, on the black rabbit. Okay! Who? Uh, hey man, just a real quick aside. Yes, yes, my good friend. The boon. You actually have that much. Of course I do. <laughs> oh, wait, you you have, we have the gems. Yeah, y'all may... Yeah, y'all didn't have to... Yeah, also you never had to pay your dad. You did the work for him so you didn't have to. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. okay, cool. I have everyone's money I'm spending willy-nilly. <laughs> A thousand gold, please. On the black rabbit. Yes, sir. Uh, and he has you, and he, like, writes out a little ticket stub, and he, um, puts the, the Blackford on Mirage, and hands it to you. Don't lose this! Of course not. I'm gonna tuck it away in a, uh, safe and secure per place of my person. Uno will look at him and be like, do you know what you've done? Oh, yes. I mean, what what could the odds be on the black rabbit? It can't be that poor. He's a friendly rabbit. Don't get too attached to it. <laughs> I mean, if it loses, I'm going to keep it as a pet. Oh. Um. About that. About what? You might not want to try that. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not. This is a, this is a East Norton tradition thing. I can't keep it as a pet. No. 
Although you can keep part of it. Although you will get to keep part of it. Part of it? Several parts yeah, you can of have, it. You can have a part of it. <laughs> if it loses. But a part of it? <laughs> you better hope it wins. A thousand gold is obviously <laughs> worth the whole rabbit. Not in this city. Not in this city. You want to win, you gotta live. <laughs> Another beer. <laughs> yes, and so they, the, they, yeah, like yeah, beer is flowing freely. So yeah, you get you get beer easily I just, right I here. Just extend my hand out, and another beer makes it to my hand. Oh, thanks. Hands it back. Hmm, I'm quite becoming used to the taste of this. this why? Ah, I almost it, feel as though it's this is, me in. This is the happiest <laughs> day of Northern Lands. <laughs> This uh, is, ends, although maybe not for you in about half an hour. <laughs> I'm just gonna you, you look back over and uh, I've already walked away. I'm over with the band dancing. I'll let him have it. I'll let him have it for now. Yeah, let him have his night. Y'all, y'all have, y'all have. The, uh, if anything, this is weird for boot. Like this is. On the brown rabbit. You'll put five on the brown? I'll put five on the brown rabbit. Alright. Sorry, I'm having to do math here. Because I am keeping track of the bets. No, 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 you're good. Okay. I did actually add math to the sheet, but yeah. Boone will look at the bookie, essentially, and he's like, he's not from around <laughs> here. He doesn't understand. You're, you're good. Uh, good luck. <laughs> and he he hands you your stub. Don't lose it. I will not. Uh, and so for and now the board is up. He he uh gets out like a chalk and an eraser, and he starts to change the big board to show that there has now been there is now six thousand four hundred thirty two gold on the line. <laughs> Nobody's gonna outbid me at this auction. <laughs> this isn't an auction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right. Uh, <laughs> anybody else oh, wish to interact with what's going on before we okay. jump ahead? I'm just any gonna speak to myself out the window. Thoughts? I'm <laughs> just gonna watch. Poor fools. <laughs> All right, let me finish doing some math here, and then I will be ready to do the race. Unless, uh, unless Laxnor wants another drink while he's at it, or some dancing. Uh, I'm just gonna continue in my inebriated state to uh, enjoy the social life. Okay. I am a and, little uh, I guess... curious as to what like Tanachi is doing. Yeah, Tana I mean, you're kind of watching Tanachi, so y y you know what's going on. You you know that this is, you know, the big event to kind of, in a way, it's it's strange because y'all don't have a lot of happy times, but this is one of the few. And so, and it's also stings even more for like Boone probably, as well as just all of you in general, because y'all haven't really had happy times in a minute. Like, this, it's kind of weird being able to sit down and not have to kill anything at this moment. Yeah, at this moment. Um, although y'all know that in the next, like, the next day y'all are gonna have to do something pretty grave. Uh, and probably life-changing for this village. Your, your home. Um... On top of that, you I mean, you can see, like, generally, as the time is now getting closer, you see Jeremiah kind of starting to join the crowd in the celebration. And, uh, Alfred starts to join in as well. Like, it's getting to that point where even 
Patriarch Alfred has shown up, and now the party's really, you know, full blast before it's time for the race, right? Um, are y'all at any point discussing any last-minute plans? I mean, I'm just on my phone. Uh, huh. I would say, like, Boone would have said, like, oh, the plan is once the... Essentially, once everything's calmed down and everyone's gone back, like, to their homes and such, then we'll go and we'll confront Patriarch Alfred. Yeah, like... Ideally, we'll catch him, like, when he's sleeping, but if not, then we'll just go for it. Okay. So y'all are gonna try to go early the next... Uh, on New Year's Day, like while, yeah, got it, got it. Okay. Well, like people are still hungover or asleep, so like pre dawn, like almost pre dawn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so in that case, everybody probably knows the plan then. Uh, even before like all this went down, um. So let's get to the race. Let's get to the race. So, at this point, Alfred kind of calls the to the center of attention from everybody, and the the music kind of dims as Alfred gets everybody's attention. Good evening, everyone. We have made it another year. It's good to see. Yeah, it's good to see everybody out here. Uh, I know things got scary for a minute there, but thanks to the prodigal son's return, and he points to Boone and Tanachi in the crowds, um, uh, Boone probably more easily to spot, uh, as I assume, Tanachi, you're kind of hanging back from how you describe things. Yeah. And so... He generally points in your direction, kind of trying to figure out where you are, but can't quite find you. The Fink Boys have returned, and thanks to them, our problem has been solved, and everybody can sleep safe again. But, with that fantastic news out of the way, who's here to see a race? And the crowd... Yeah. Yeah, the crowd goes nuts. And he's like, alright. Everybody knows the tradition. Yeah. And, and so they start to get the Almirage out of their cages. And, like, basically they have, like, a guy on each uh, rabbit. Making sure, like, that they're set properly. And it's kind of just a... The way the, the race is set up, it's kind of just like a, a straight dash, right? And so think kind of similar to, like, Think like, I mean, you were on the right track with kind of a, uh, almost a Greyhound thing, but more just straight, like, dash to the end. Because they don't expect, they, they don't expect them to be fancy enough to make a circle, right? They're, they're rabbits. And so, they, they set him up, and he's like, alright, get ready. On three, two, one, and they let go, and... The, on the other end of the track are carrots to kind of lure the rabbits. And so the Omirars start dashing over. And at first, the brown Omira is just kind of taking big strides towards it. Because it's like, oh, another carrot! Yes! And whereas the Blackbird kind of takes its time at first. It's, it's kind of, you know, touch and go there. But about halfway, the brown fur kind of gets distracted. It, it's sniffing up, it, and it realizes that people are watching. It realizes that, that like the crowd, it's kind of it's kind of a it's kind of intense, right? Because everybody's kind of crowding this this track to where almost you guys can't quite, unless you're in the front, you you almost can't quite see what's going on. Um, but eventually, you hit you just hear. And the black furred one makes it to his carrot. We have a winner. My rabbit. 
<laughs> All right. Y'all know what happens next, and they go, yeah. And something that, like, I mentioned that they were, you know, partying and drinking. I forgot to kind of mention they were, like, kind of cooking as well. Like, they were prepping almost a stew. I'm walking up to the end so I collect my rabbit. Yeah. And so, <laughs> as you're doing that. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about the other thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, as he's walking away to collect his winnings, uh, Boone, I guess you're watching as the crowd takes the brown furred rabbit, and yeah, they they go and kill it. Um, they they may they do it quickly though. They are they are very efficient at this point, um, and so uh, you just hear, I call the foot. I call the foot, and uh, they're like, the brown and, and of course they're like, no, you, you know, we gotta wait till it's already. We gotta, we gotta cure it first before anybody can buy it. And so they, um, they go, all right, uh, here, go skin it, and they hand it to to one of the others to go skin the brown rabbit so they can cook it in the stew. And meanwhile, you go to get your winnings, and uh, you see the the Fink uh, thug there, and he's like, "Ah, ticket!" Oh yes, yes, right here. And I pull it out from uh, my secure place, which was at the end of my flute. So do you like kind of blow it out? <laughs> oh, that would actually be hilarious. Yes. <laughs> And it just flutters out. <laughs> All right, so it kind of just flutters out. He he takes it as it's like kind of gliding in the air. Reads it. That's my handwriting. Yep. All right. <clears throat> and he goes into the back, and he hands you a pouch of gold. There you go. Oh yes, yes. Thank you. And where's my rabbit? Uh, your rabbit. Yes, I bid a thousand dollars on the rabbit in the auction. That's not how that works. Well, what else were the people paying for? Uh, for money. Money? You put in money. You were expecting to get an tangible item out of it. No, you... Have you never gambled before? I gamble a lot. Is this not how you people gamble? No, you don't win the thing. You... Win more Boone, money. Boone, tell him I look back. Boone's nowhere to be seen. So I'm like, oh, look, actually, I, 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 he's right, Laxnor. This is how it works. Oh, Boone, you're on this side of me. Oh, great. Um, so I don't get the rabbit. No, you don't. Oh, well, what's in the bag? And I open up the bag. Uh, um, money. Yeah. So you find. Money. So you get you notice that it has your thousand back, but it also gives you another uh, one hundred forty three gold on top of that. One hundred and forty three. I could have lost a thousand. Oh God! Hey, this is why I told you not to. You weren't the only winner. He he looks at you and he's like, "You weren't the only winner tonight." And he points to like fourteen other people who like on the board who also bet on the same rabbit. <laughs> Uh, I gained 142 gold. 43. 43 beers. 43. <laughs> oh, well, that makes it worth it then. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should probably just buy an actual rabbit. Well, well, rather. At the very least. Untypical of the. Yeah. Go ahead. Well. Well, rather untypical of the tradition, there's nothing that says you can't snatch that rabbit back up. Oh, really? I can just take that rabbit. Oh. No. Yeah, at, like, at that, at that point, nobody's, like, nobody's watching the black furred one. Like, nobody's watching yours. Because, like, they, the, like they, they, they had their race. It's over. They don't really care what happens to the winter rabbit. It kind of gets to just go free. The, the brown one is now being cooked up, though. Great, and then I'm going to dump my gold from the sack into my other sack where the gold is. I'm going to use that sack to try and catch the rabbit. 
All right. Um, give give me animal handling. We are going way off track. No, uh, no, this is fine. <laughs> animal handling. Oh, I have a plus one. I'll be darned. I figure. I mean, I I, I, I was my help action. Like I've been keeping track of like you know our. Oh. Oh Lord, have mercy. Um. So go ahead and roll with advantage, buddy. Oh. My God. <laughs> okay, because it's not on the screen right now. So to put some perspective of what Laxnor just rolled, I'm actually going to go ahead and just share the image real quick. Uh, yeah, so he rolled a three on that first roll. And then he got a natural 20 on the second. So, uh, yeah. Yes. You almost, like, you almost nat one, then nat 20 Like, you were yeah, so that's close. Crazy. That was crazy. That was the meaning of high-low, but, you know. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, you kind of struggle at first because it, it is—it's quick. It was the winner of the race, of course. It's quick, and so like you, you expect it. You're like, oh, it's the, yeah, of course it's you know, of course it's faster than me, and so. But eventually, you do manage to like nab him as he's like trying to like he he realizes that he's hit like the edge of the platform, and there's not really anywhere else to go. So I like him backed him into a corner. Yeah, you backed him into a corner. Metaphorically, um, baby, understand, Laxnor. This rabbit is going to be your responsibility now. I'll take, I'll feed it, and I'll care for it, and I'll give it baths. You fucking better. All right, I guess I should, I should give you the stat block for the Almirage. Yay! I didn't think we would need that, but. The only time I used it was to figure out who would win the race, because <laughs> I, yeah, I basically just had their stat, their dex, dexes go up against each other, and then whichever one won, won. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll just send the the link to the five e tools of okay. it. Um, I'll put it in the Grim Hollow chat. Uh, do you have a name for it? I will wait to name the rabbit. Okay. It is not the opportune moment. No, I am drunk. <laughs> you are, yes, you've had three. Uh, in fact, as you catch the, the Almirage, and it's a good thing he gave you advantage, because honestly, now that I think about it, you probably should add disadvantage. Yeah, I probably should have. <laughs> um, Conveniency of memory loss. <laughs> um, as you catch it, and you start, and like Boone is giving you the, you gotta take care of it now speech. Uh, somebody else comes to offer you another <laughs> beer. Oh. At, at that, Boone will like give him the get the fuck away from my friend look. Aw, oh, where's he going? I could have swore that was for me. Okay, so yeah, as soon as Boone gives him that look, he does like the heel turn immediately to the other direction. <laughs> Thought he saw someone he knew. I am quite, uh, you know, normal around here. <laughs> um, All right, man. Come on. Let's and we'll, yeah, with that, I think. I mean, of course, uh, I, they they do while while the beer starts to run dry. They do start to hand out the food at this point because the stew is ready. Oh, uh, they even go inside. Yeah, they even go into they even go inside the buildings to make sure everybody who wants one gets one. Like they're like the, any public building. So the fixed horn, they come inside the inn and they see Arambor and uh, and El Perro kind of and uh, Tanachi kind of to themselves, and they make sure that all three of you also get some of the food. Uh, as it's kind of you know, even though you're outsiders, it's still part of their traditions, and they. For tonight, you are one of them. And with that, we're going to call it the end of the your rest. Uh, Y'all have officially long rested entirely. I get spell slots back. Yeah, it is five a. It is now five a.m. on New Year's Day. Uh, you've had a chance to completely rest after everything that's happened. Uh, so go ahead and make sure you reset all your health spell slots for those who have them. Uh, and for those who drank heavily, I might add, uh, give me a constitution saving throw. 
Aaron Board <laughs> drunk MP. Let's see. Sixteen. All right. Uh, you actually feel fine. Yeah. Okay. Well. You you managed to hold your you hold your beer. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, you know when you partake quite often, it's you know a thing that happens. Yeah. Tolerances and such. Um. So yeah, it's still it's it's. Spellcaster. <laughs> Oh, is it just because of the upkeep and all that? Yeah, if I'd have known long rest were going to be three days long, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing we're saying this said he would have chosen a fighter. Yeah, um... So yeah. I'll kind of switch the vibe up, because I think at this point y'all are getting ready to do your... Yeah. Your thing. I've just got to really be picky and choosy about how I use my spells. Yeah, you just gotta, you know, you gotta be a little more tactic, uh, tactical. Yeah. Tacticular. <laughs> Testicular. Oh, oh, no. Not in, not in this, not in this end. Then in what end? Black Uh, <laughs> end. well, you're in the, uh, Oh. oh yeah, we don't. Have... <laughs> well, you're in this end, the 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 fixed <laughs> horn end. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> um. Ah, oh, the fixed right. horn, like the rabbit. Like the rabbit. <laughs> it's all coming together. <laughs> I oh, see. La I see Laxnor at the board. It's like it's the always sunny. Aaron Boar yes. <laughs> wants to walk up to Boone. And so, kill the king, head to the south? That's the plan. Kill the king, stop by my old man's, head south. Let's kill this king pronto. Yeah. All right, boys, before we go out there, just a reminder. Alfred is an old man in a place like this. You don't get old like that without being good at something. And my guess is, if he was able to capture Zag, he's probably got a few tricks up his sleeve. So be wary, be careful. Got it? Got it. Carefully, wary. Don't give this it. man any opportunity to fight back. Quick, clean, efficient. All right. Aaron Bohr wants to. Aaron Bohr wants to put a part in that speech. I know I am new around here, and I know that you may not know me very well, but I appreciate you for, for bringing me in as one of your own. And if you see to it that these men die, I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. I. I. Oh, there we go. Oh, you actually no dead hear heroes, about this. But... Yeah, learning to. No dead uh, heroes. If you guys think things look bad and you feel the desire to run, run. Fight to the death. Bad. <laughs> no. Don't always do that. <laughs> no, have you did no, I'm I'm literally ready to die. Yeah, that's yeah. That... <laughs> um As y'all are heading out, um, Y'all notice that somebody is telling you. Somebody's telling us. What do you mean? Uh, oh, telling. I'm sorry. You like, like right behind. Like they, yeah, they're not yeah. trying. They're not trying to hide, really. But you can yeah, tell, like telling, ta telling. Yeah. Do we, like, do we recognize him? Oh yeah, it's it's Aaron. Oh my god. Okay. This fucking guy. Can I? That's I want to. I want to use a cantrip. Use my cantrip to send message to 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 Boone. Hmm. Please tell me we can ditch him this time. Do you feel the need to? All right, I'm gonna use message on Laxnor, and I'm gonna say, "Cut left with me." Use a message on Boone. Tell him to cut right with Tanachi. Use message on Tanachi. 
tell him to cut right with Boone and use message on homie and tell him to cut right with Boone. So uh, we like split off. Uh, let me see. If that's what y'all want to do. It's just an idea. Oh. If y'all want to do that, um, whoever's in charge of each direction, uh, give me... So are y'all splitting in two entirely different directions, or are y'all splitting like kind of fifty-fifty? So like I'm assuming, I'm assuming we're walking down like a, a, a like a cluster of street. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm assuming there's like alleyways both directions, right? Oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just trying to like we'll we'll split off at a T, and try to meet back up in the middle after we like shake, bro. Okay. So then, um, I guess everybody then just give me. Um, is that what everybody wants to do? Oh yeah, before we do that. I mean, like, uh, I, I only I'm want to do this if we want. While we're ditching nobody, but because, like, he's just—it's just shady. Why is he following us? He's not a part of this mission. Maybe he wants to be. Nobody asked him to be. <laughs> but you wanted to be a part of this mission. This is a paid mission. I'm being paid to do this. He's not being paid. Nobody comes without being paid. What is he I being mean, paid I to agree. Do? Well, this does drive a hard bargain. Alright. So, Andrew, that's an agree to split? Yeah, we can. Poor Ed. Alright. Um, reason, but I'm gonna, like... If Aaron shows up later, since he knows where we're going... Question is, which one is he? Which group is he going to follow? The sorcerers or the fighters? Hmm. That's what oh, I yeah. want. We did send like the three marshals and the two casters in two different directions. <laughs> All right. Well, what? so we are officially doing that. I'm down. Yeah. All right. Then everybody I'm give me. Good. Everybody give me either athletics or acrobatics. I'm going to do... Fuck, which one am I better at? Uh, definitely acrobatics. Acrobatics as well, yes. Where are my dice? Here Ooh, okay. Well, I'll take that. Play this whole D&D &D game without using dice. Look at that. Okay, let's go. And first roll of the game. Natural 20, baby. I wish I was lying. <laughs> I will use athletics. So we got 21, a 20, a 10... 10. Uh, and then just need uh, Tanachi. Wait, I, I zoned out for a second. What, uh, what are you doing, athletics? I need either athletics or acrobatics because y'all are trying to lose Aaron. Okay, okay, okay. Got you. Steve, you have invisibility in the scenario. Okay. Um, I do not. Double check. Let me get the advanced roller going. I. <clears throat> uh, in this oh, man, I, love moment, it. I can use I mean, inspiration, I guess. Um, I. Yeah. It's up to you. Can I get away with them with an eleven? I will go ahead and say, yeah. I'm not gonna make you waste your inspiration. Y'all, uh, y'all do uh, manage to as far as. Both groups can tell. Y'all have lost Aaron. Can I make a perception check to double check that? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it too. I'll, I'll like, look around just to yeah, make sure. Yeah, give me perceptions. It's not good. Perception. Um, that's 12. Plus one. 13. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Y'all have lost him. Okay. Alright. Now the so, yeah. is, where the fuck are we going to meet back up? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you, you said it We've yeah. already been to Alfred's house, so... I guess we're going to go to Alfred's house. Nowhere to go, yeah. Well, off we go then. To the yep. wonderful Wizard of Oz. Set up some stuff. Okay. Yep. Okay. Sorry, my. Uh oh.
Sorry, my... There we go. Uh, as you enter the throne room, there is a calm to it, with Alfric sitting on his throne, and only a single guard watching over him. Uh, let me go ahead and transfer y'all over to there. Now that you're there. This will be the first time visualizing it. So is... Are you gonna run as El Perro, or...? Yeah, I can run as El Perro, unless one of you guys... Uh, I'm, why, cheat, so. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna keep him in the back just because I don't have his sheet on hand. Um, so okay, well if, he can keep watch outside, out the front door. Yeah, so El, yeah, El Perro will watch outside then. So, Kumi is out the door. Let me hide him. Yeah. All right. Hello, Kumi. Uh, yeah, so, as y'all kind of see, Alfric, kind of, on his throne, kind of laid I back. Know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of laid back, and the guard is there, kind of just watching over him, but, like, slumped over still. Um, Alfric kind of starts to sit up. I assume you are here to follow your father's orders. I... Do we still have that stupid hat? Uh, it... Oh, wait. Throw it on I the have... guard. Throw it on the Do... guard. Wait, did I... I took the hat, right? Yeah, you did, you yeah, did. Somebody's got it in a bag. It's in oh. one of your bags. <laughs> My god. I'm gonna look at Boone and just give him the nod. Throw it on the guard. I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to throw it on the dude, but... <laughs> uh, <laughs> if, if you try to throw it on Alfred... I will say it is a pretty far toss. I'm gonna leave this oh, on Boone. No. Alright, so Boone will hold up the bag. It's forty you know what's to Alfred. In this bag, Alfred. I do not. But I can just bat oh. starts with an H. Hmm. How cryptic. I, I see. I like these games. Well, as I made clear last night, I did hear that you finished dealing with him, so it reasons that you would have found out what happened. It also makes sense that the reason you didn't come immediately report back to me when it happened days ago is, uh, I think there's only one reason you're here. And unless y'all are gonna do anything, if killing you gets me to the south great. then so be it. Um, the guard You're begins. A good man, Alfred. Shame oh. you had to die today. Okay. Let's get him, boys. All right. So you just held up the bag and it, and that was it. Oh no! Okay. I'm gonna shoot him. He said, oh no, I shoot him. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're shooting at Alfred immediately? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and give me... Give me an attack for... Give me your attack roll for that, and then we'll do initiatives. Can I cast invisibility before the combat starts? Yeah, y'all... Since... since I'll, I'll give it to you, you three since... days to plan this. Yeah, I'll, get, I'll give it Actually, to you. No, scratch that. Scratch that. I'm gonna cast my... My, my specter. Oh, Yes. I did put him on here somewhere, I think. Yes, I did. I did indeed. Ren, come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. My brother. He's dead. Everybody meet my brother. Oh, I thought I put him out, but I did not. Do you want to do anything There he is. Too? Since, like, I'm fairly certain, like, in the three days, we would have come up with a signal for, like, let's Can jump in now. I Alfric? Uh, oh, yeah. That could have been the signal. Yeah. Because what? How? What's the range for that spawn? Well, let me pull it up. It's just find familiar. I guess I could shoot him, too. But that's kind of what I'm good at. Oh. 
range I just of no, 10 feet. It, Never it mind. Have any real it. importance to not yeah. get close? Yeah. So, know. how far? Let's. I'll let. Let me make sure you. Can yeah, control. just right there next to Boone will work. Next to Boone. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Some reason I can't quite get him to do what I want. And let me pull up the Spectre stat block. about you, Steve? Anything you would like to do with the signal? I mean, if we're all getting the... I mean, yeah, I had a plan. Yeah, y'all have to jump, yeah, so go ahead and... Oh. Um, well, I was just gonna cast Fireball, but... Okay. So, he's casting... He's, he's shooting him. You're casting Fireball. Um... Tanachi, what are you gonna do? We're not in direct sunlight, are we? No. Okay, perfect. It's actually, it's actually, it's actually, it's actually still pre uh, sunrise. Sweet. Uh, so what were you saying, Tanachi? I figured I'd just shoot him as well. Okay. So everybody's just kind of going for the free shot, except for Aaron Bohr, who casts familiar. Um, try to remember is that. Does that take up the full action? Right. That's my oh. Favorite. Oh, Wait. you would have... Wait, is he a familiar? Well, hmm? Yeah, he's a familiar, technically. Is it fine familiar for you to- is it fine familiar that you cast to get him out? Yeah, so I have to cast fine familiar in order to- to-, you, to you would have- summon him. You would have had to do that about an hour ago. Oh, it takes an hour to cast? Yeah, casting time is an hour. What the fuck? Can I say I did it an hour ago? Yeah, we can. We can, yeah. I'm we can. I really didn't realize that. I will keep that heads yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. That's a heads up. I was going to say that. Yeah. So we'll say, yeah. We'll say you had, yeah. Yeah, prior to engagement, make sure you you cast him. <laughs> um, And he can kind of just hang around you the whole time. Uh, Whatever. Wait, he's not concentration? No. They do their own thing. Oh. Fucking sweet. Okay, because I thought I had to concentrate on him, and then I can cast spon cast concentration spells through him. Mm -mm. Find familiar. It's uh, instantaneous. Like they they kind of just like once okay. you've done the hour, then they're 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 just there. Is it like till they are limit? defeated or something? Yeah, until they're defeated or you decide to send them back. Dismiss them, yeah. Okay, I see it, yeah. Oh, well, but he's just chilling, yeah. okay. Yeah. Just bring his token awesome. out when he's relevant, so, okay. Yeah. Um. So, let's see. You're gonna be talking to him a lot, huh? So, so Boone... Yeah, well, hold on. So, Boone, was that... Did you roll to attack already? Was that... Is that what the 16 is? I just want to make sure I'm getting everything right. Or was that yeah, earlier? Yeah, mine do were attack rolls. Okay, yours were... Is. Okay, so 16 is attack, Tanachi's is to attack. Uh, let me double check how that does on Alfric. Yeah. Uh, all, th all three of those rolls hit. Uh, Tanachi, were you... Did you attack twice? Is that why you rolled twice? Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's go in order. Boon, uh, you hit first. Um, go ahead and give me... We'll give you the damage. Yeah. And the audience is getting a little peek. It's just the one shot. Uh, 12 to Alfric. Alright. And then, is it just the one... Are you just doing the one attack? You know what? 
I w- if you'll let me take a second, I will gladly give him a second. I will, cause y'all y'all plan y'all took the rest days to plan. Y'all 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 burned this moment. Okay, then I will try to shoot him again. And you do, you do. Eighteen. All right. Another eleven. Eleven. So twenty-three damage in total. All right. That's some hits mm-hmm. into him. And Tanachi, you hit twice as well. Uh, both of those hit. So go ahead and do some damage for me. There you go. There's the rolls. Ooh. So. Minus yeah, my twenty. Can I cast a reaction spell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, first, let's do Laxnor. You did fireball, right? I'm afraid this might. Uh, this could be a pretty high uh, number, but we'll see. Do I still? I can't remember. It's been a while. But do I still roll my attack hit for the spell? Yes. Right. Oh, fireball. Yes. Are you using fireball, or the spell? Yeah, yeah the spell. Yeah. Like the first level okay, spell. that's it. And all of you guys are out of range of it. Yep. <laughs> if, if you aim it right at Alfric, yeah. So, that's... Because it's a 30 good foot man. radius, so y'all are, y'all are good. Um... Hang on, before you do that, can I do a whole person to make it even more detrimental? Oh, yeah. So, oh, so go ahead. I'm casting his whole person. Okay. So, Alfred needs to do a saving throw for that, correct? I think he has a dexterity saving throw. Oh, yeah, so I didn't. Okay. Okay, so. DC he... is. Oh, at least 14. mine's a dexterity saving throw, stand correction, but yeah. If yours is 14, mine's also a 14, so. DC 14, dex saving throw. Uh, you kind of feel like you've got a grasp on him, but he kind of just shrugs it off. No disadvantage or anything like that because he's his reaction? Or... Um, let me see. Okay. Yeah, so since, since you asked nicely. Uh, <laughs> but not always in this game. I made this. I made this a deadly encounter, just so y'all know. <laughs> um. Um. So yeah, this it holds, but just barely. But just barely. Okay. So what do I? So he also has to make. He, so he he has to make another saving throw against the fireball. Is that my understanding? Yeah, it's, uh... It's each creature in the 20-foot radius must make a... Oh, it's 20 feet. Yeah, 20-foot yeah, radius must make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, 20-foot radius? Oh, that's still gonna catch the guard, I think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it looks like 15. Yeah, the guard's 15. Yeah. Uh, so... Oh, it's not a dex, it's a wisdom. Oh. Um... Uh, oh, for yours. For hold. Mm-hmm. What was the saving throw on that? 14. Yeah, he saved both times. He's a wise man. Yeah. Uh, but that fireball's still gonna hit him. Uh, and then let me see how the guard does. What was the saving throw again for the dex? Uh, 14. Okay. Uh, guard makes it. Uh, Alfred, uh, Alfred, not so much. Uh, go ahead and roll for the damage. Alright, so that is 8d6. Yep. Um, and the guard will still take half yeah. of that. Oops, that was not what I meant to do. That's, that's, uh, nope, that was my bad. Yeah, go ahead, try that again. <laughs> Let's see. That also, I think, still hit. Yay, there we go. Ooh, 33. Woo! Alright, so Alfred takes 33. 
And then the guard, the is guard hit, takes so. half that. So half. 16. I believe 17, it. 16. 16, it's yeah. It's the lesser, right? Yeah. It's the lower, yeah. And he is dead. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The guard. So still effective. Yeah, guard is dead. Guard is dead. Um. So. That was for trying to swindle me out of my rabbit. <laughs> it wasn't even him! <laughs> I'm still gonna stand there smirking, like, like, sneering at them. And as you say that, you feel like the bag kind of, like, your bag with the rabbit in it kind of wiggle. You see me slide a carrot to the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now give, everybody give me initiatives. <laughs> hmm. Now that y'all have eliminated one of your foes from this fight. Natural 20. Oh, okay. Oops, don't roll. I almost the rolled 8 d20s. Second one tonight. Oh. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was about to be. It flipped over. I almost rolled a one. I'm gunning my inspiration. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, you're gonna use that here? Yeah. So how do you fuck. use inspiration, Caleb? Do you allow it just to kind of like let us do whatever we want with it? Like... I mean, like automatic successes or not automatic. I, I I re rolls. Okay. Um, everybody does inspiration differently, so yeah, I tend to go with the re roll method. Um, okay. Boone, do you want to go with that first number? <laughs> I would like to go with the first number, please, if you don't yeah. mind. Yeah, we'll go with that first number. <laughs> uh, and you said twenty. Off is used. You said twenty, but what? What like what on? What's on top of that? Uh, let me see. But uh, five. Okay, so twenty-five. Yeah, because initiative, you gotta add the the rest still. Yeah. Um, let's see. Lux Boone. Tanachi is twenty-three. Oh my god! I forget. My character can just fucking teleport, dude. I keep forgetting that. That's like a natural thing I can just do. And then, <laughs> like as much as I want. <laughs> for an information. Shout archives are awesome. <laughs> to recap, we've shot this man four times and exploded him. <laughs> All before he could do anything. Alright, I think everybody's on the order now. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in order. In order. There we go. I'm here on business. Arambor! You are up first! So, I really think I'm going to cast Old Person on him again. Um, okay. But it doesn't seem like a good idea because his wisdom seems kind of high. You know what? I'm gonna cast Can I cast uh true strike on on uh Boone? Uh true strike on Boone? I think that's a touch, let me make sure. Even if it is nope. a touch, the good news is it, it is thirty. Range. Yeah, it's thirty feet range. So yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah, I'm casting true strike on. Well, who who would be more beneficial to cast that on Boone or Tanachi? Let's see. You extend your hand and put I'd a finger on a target because he goes first. 
your magic no grants you three damage points. Wise, though, like, who puts out more damage? Uh, it's about the same. Okay, I'll give it to Takachi then. Uh, no. So the way it works is you have to be you. You're pointing at your target, not at, not at uh, you don't give it to somebody. Oh, I can't give it to somebody. Yeah, it says you extend your hand and point a finger at a target in range. Your magic grants you a brief insight into the target's defenses. Oh, the target. Okay, never mind then. Yeah. Um. I okay. I'll just cast hold person. Okay. I'll just try to run hold person. Try it again. Let's see yeah. how we do. Give everybody advantage. Fuck it. And if you if you're within five minutes, uh, he's a crit. Remind me what the uh, check was. Fourteen. Fourteen. He just makes it. Like it's a struggle, oh, though. Like oh he he is like y'all like for a second as you reach out and you try to like hold tight to him, like you're kind of like Vader gripping him. I imagine, right? Trying to really hold hone in on him, and you see him struck like he is struggling, but he just just manages to shake it off. As far as my specter, let me see what's his movement. Speed. Yeah. Fly 50 feet. 50 feet fly speed. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Uh, he's going to get right in Alfred, Alfred's face and use. Uh, I can't grab him for some reason. I think that's a you thing. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, where do you want he's him? He's going to get right in, right in front of Alfred. Okay, so like. Right there? Like, dead, yes, dead in front of his face. And he's going to use Life Drain. Alright. Plus four to hit. The 14 hit. Uh, Double checking. Yes, that does. Alright, uh, he needs to make a DC 10 constitution saving throw, and he also takes 3d6 necrotic damage. I'm just going to roll that on. Yep. Roll 20. Woo. 10 necrotic damage. And he failed that saving throw. He failed it? Okay, yeah. so his maximum hit points reduce to 10. Reduced by 10. Oh, okay, so even if he heals, he can't. Yeah, he can't bring his health back any higher. Got it. Um, sorry. Uh, reduce that max HP, bitch. Yeah. Do that real quick. Out of... And he said by ten. Yes, by ten. It, he it gets removed. He his health. Gets oh, removed. whatever the damage was. Yeah, whatever the damage is, yes, sir. Got it. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Uh, I'm curious if that applies to something, but we're about to find out. Um, that. Your turn? That's it. Yeah, that's that's uh, Aaron Moore's whole turn. Okay. Actually, Send. no. Hang on. Oh. Oh, yep. Teleport. I want to teleport. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna teleport just right over here in the corner. Poof. Boop. All right, Tanachi, you are up. I. Right. Let me give him some. Pop pop pops. Pop pop. One, two, and then we have advantage. Yeah. No. Uh, I, I, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Oh well, disregard them. Yeah, sorry. Right. He fa <laughs> so yeah, all yeah, you failed. Um, anything else? Any movement? Any any bonus actions? Well, no, you took your shot as a bonus action, right? Um. Well, Actually, I, I can use an inspiration on one of them. Yeah, go ahead and do that. You have an inspiration. Reroll again. Yeah, go ahead and reroll. You... Do I reroll one of them or both of them? Um, one. Hey, that one. Hey, there you go. Go ahead and take. Give them that damage. All right, give me one second. This is just Dude. unlucky for him. 
I swear I made this a deadly encounter. I swear. Well, I believe it. So there's I, nine. Yep. Like I went through I went through the calculator and everything, although the the math is not always, you know, accurate. Alright. Another nine damage. Uh anything else? Any movement? No, nah, I'll chill here. All right, Laxnor. Um, will we say he's um? Has he felt it yet? Uh oh. Let me double check because he's probably. Uh, oh yeah, he's bleeding. Uh, if okay. so, yeah, I should have said that. I think earlier. So, but he is bleeding. By the gods. I would hope so. Because <laughs> of that, that I was going to be worried and fireball him again. I fireball him again, but... Uh, I believe... Wait a minute, 30 feet, damn. It would catch... If you do throw another fireball, it would oh, catch... Know. It would catch uh, Aaron Bohr's, uh familiar. I, I had a feeling. Um, My measuring tool, so... Okay, so that's 30 feet, so then if I were to... Oop, that's not what I want to do. Uh, oh, wait, how my specter... Moved here. By four times your level. Um, I guess, question, if he is familiar, is he, like, materialistic, or is he, like, ghostly? I don't oh, really he's a ghost. know. He's, like, a specter. Yeah, he's, like, a specter. Uh, so you could, like... You could see, the, him, yeah. You could see, yeah. We'll we'll say for style, you can do that. Okay, because I was going to cast Witch Bolt at the third level. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to make sure I didn't just kill. Uh, no, no, no. Kill his brother. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll say, we'll say, like, we'll we'll say for flavor, it 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 goes past him, and also generally spells like generally when you attack something and you're trying to pass your allies. Allies are generally ignored, anyways. Oh, okay, that's fine then. Uh, let's see. So, doo, 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 doo. unless he's like actively using your ally as a shield, but he is not. Oh, so technically, I can do life drain twice in one turn. Oh. Because when you use your action to cast a spell, you can use bonus action on the same turn to command your specter to use its life drain attack against a creature within a range of your choice. Um, if you want, since Alfric hasn't gone yet. No, 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 no I'm not doing that now. I'm just remembering. Yeah, for future reference. For future reference. Okay. Yeah. I was going to give it to you because Alfric has not gone yet. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not trying. No, no, no. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, so Laxnor, what are you okay. doing? Uh, then, uh, Witch Bolt at third level. Alright. Uh, and you, oh my we, god, 20 on the fucking die, holy yep. shit. Um, <laughs> we have not described Witch Bolt yet, mm -hmm. so go ahead and, go ahead and give me a flavor yeah. of how you imagine Witch Bolt is for Laxnor. Okay. So, for Laxnor, um, I would like to just basically... You know, like line my finger up with between my eyes and my nose, like against my nose almost, and then just. Oh God, what would I? I feel like he would have to have some kind of catchphrase. That's almost how I envision it in his head. But fireball. In this circumstance. <laughs> yes, I'm just thinking. I'm like. Die thee! And just point my arm straight out. With, okay. I mean, basically, this is gonna be equivalent to like a lightning bolt at this point. Yep. Um, That's essentially what witch bolt is. It's, it, yes, but now it was okay. So it was three so, d twelve. Okay. But then so now it is. One. Yeah. So now it is six d twelve. Holy fuck! <laughs> if this hits on high numbers, just I picture just I almost picture a lightning bolt coming down through the trees, like I contacted the sky. <laughs> yeah. Poor I'm Alfred. Who's chosen to <laughs> fucking Witchbolt. Emperor Palpatine this man? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the creator of Witchbolt through his soul. Yes. 
Poor Alfred, he did not stand a chance. 57. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh wait, no. Uh, Steve, those are D20s. Oh, fuck. Uh, that would have been amazing. Okay. I was about to say. Uh, you are right though, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the good catch. Good catch. I just immediately went six. <laughs> Wait, so is it 3D six, 3D twelve plus six? No, no, I th that was also from the. Oh, okay. Level, so okay, yeah. Make sure you remove that. that. Yeah, make sure you remove yeah. the plus six as well. That would have been amazing. Okay, anyways, back to reality. Um, <laughs> In a different reality. <laughs> Twenty-seven. Okay, you know, that's that's so more that's more realistic, but also one, yeah, but yeah. That's more realistic, okay. but also good damage. Good damage. So yeah, good. twenty-seven. Good um, game. Good game. And just, just yeah, you know, the room flashes with light. So I've, I've, I've blown him up with fire. I struck him with lightning. <laughs> so far, I'm feeling pretty confident in this battle. Yeah. All because he wouldn't let me have a rabbit. Okay. Is that it for Laxnor? <laughs> Uh, pretty much, yeah. Um, <laughs> and now I'll just, you know, wait, bide my time and uh, just continuously attack him every turn. So. All right, Alfred is still alive, which means <laughs> I can do this still. Oh, shit. Um, I was kind of hoping, but like you were hoping he'd stay alive or hoping he'd oh, die. No, I was hoping, I uh, hoping I killed him, but you know, here we go. Yeah. Uh, so he is still alive, which means he is going to go ahead and change shape. And because he is a druid. Does he adopt new hit points based on that? Yes, so when they change shape, they take they they get on top of the HP that they had, um, they get the new beast HP. Oh my god, is this fucker a druid? Yeah, he's a druid. He's an arch druid. Oh god. What is that? Yeah. Uh by the way. I hope you guys remembered player information. Uh, East Nordenlands, famous for making a lot of druids. Um, here you go. It's Patrick. It's Patriarch Alfric in dino form. The dinosaur? Oh my god! Oh my god! Go go dino form! Oh, I actually remember that... the name of the dinosaur. Yeah, it's a brontosaurus. <laughs> Woo! Uh, I should have hit my fireball. Which is in D and D. I, I I was like, what? I was looking. I was like, what beast could I make him for beast form? And then I saw he could be a dinosaur, and I was like, oh, he's got to be a dinosaur. T Rex is actually not. T Rex is not. T Rex is not in D and D, or at least he's not high enough level for that. Um, yeah. Brontosaurus is though. And not a T -Rex. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The, the <laughs> weight alone in the the weight alone, the weight alone of the situation is uh. <laughs> yeah. So as Brontosaurus, let me double check that. Vegetables for dinner. Oh, they like the rabbit. Just wait till the villagers have a slice of this guy. Let's see. I'm trying to. See. Okay, that was a bonus action. So he still has his oh, full actions. <laughs> Um, so the, the, the plural was terrifying. Um, and so he is going to go ahead and let me pull up his stats okay, for that. Welcome to Hell in a Cell, Brontosaurus edition. Ugh, that's uh, funny. Sorry, hmm. I'm trying to pull up the stat block. There we go. Uh, he is going to, he's going to do a tail sweep at, at, uh, your brother. Oh. Because, oh. I mean, he can't, oh, I mean. My brother's brother. Oh, no. no, no yeah. No, no. That, that, no, no, no. yeah. The ghost brother. The ghost brother. My oh. brother, my brother will come back. Don't worry. My brother's got four times my current level, so... Does 26 hit? Uh, yeah, I think it does. That's not his AC, that's his hit points. Does 26 hit? 26 hits. Okay. I 
fucking Raptosaurus. Yeah. 24 HP. Uh, Gold. yeah, he, he got 23 on the dice, uh, plus, uh, five, plus five. Fuck, so he fizzles into nothing. Yeah. Oh, damn it. I, I regret getting this close. Now. I should have kept him, I should have kept him doing his stuff at range, man. Bro's I going. I didn't realize I could do it at any range I chose. Bro's in the bro zone. I know. Well, now I know, for future reference, 15. he can hang back and do his life drain. 20, yeah. Let me uh, see well. here. Let me see. Because it states it's a, it's a melee attack on his thing, but it states that I can do it at any range I choose. And yeah, oh, Alf <laughs> I forgot, Laxnor's right there. Okay, yeah. so yeah, Alfred's like, I'm coming for you next, you fucking wizard. I'm sure now. Thing is on dogs. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Let me see. Does he get? Imagine the people outside with a hangover were just absolutely lost. There was fire, there's gunshots, lightning, dinosaur screech. Uh, he's enjoying it. Well, imagine just what uh, what uh, Pero was just like outside, like mm. yeah. Pero's keeping guard. He has no idea. Like he, y'all haven't called for him to come in. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. All right. Well, that is it of Alfred's turn. Right. So, Boone. Yeah. Unfortunately, if he was still in human form, he'd have more moves. But Dino form does not get multi attack. I'd recommend backing up. Nah, but the gun is like. <laughs> oh. I would do that. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, Hunter's Mark. <laughs> yep. <laughs> because now is the time. Now it is a deadly encounter. Let's go. <laughs> I think I can get him out of All this right. dinosaur form really fast. Does anybody want me to? It'd be uh, a waste of level 3 spell slot. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a waste, but... I say do your thing if you feel like it's right. Alright. Dang, 13. Uh, let's see. That misses. I would still okay. recommend Second moving. shot. Oh, I will. That hits. Alright. Sixteen damage for that shot. Alright. Alright. And phantom bullet shot from Dread Ambusher. Bang. Twenty-three. Alright. Sorry, I'm excuse me, because I'm you know, failed opportunity. I should have described the witch bolt as a Chidori or uh, whatever, but you know, we're here. Was that play. was that to hit that yeah, that yeah. Sorry, I'm lying. 23 is to hit, and yeah. there we go. So, so 20 total. Plus 4, 9 damage. Oh, 9, sorry. Uh, the 4, yeah, so 9 plus 16, so yeah. 24, 25? It's a dino form. And at that... Boone will look to Tanachi and say, get some distance from him. I think they can promise I'll up in court. <laughs> <laughs> and Boone going to... I have 40 feet of movement. Boom stall. Yeah, Boone says, run away! <laughs> I would advise that, because once it makes it to my turn, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's going to go that way. All right. He thought about it. Are you able to? Okay. There he goes. I was worried for a second. I was like, did I give him control? I think there was a delay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> Boone turns to Tanachi. Says, "You should get away from that." Or <laughs> it's the other way. <laughs> All right. It's, it's a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> it's a fucking dinosaur. 
It's also the first time... I will say, he has not shown this form. At all. Ever. No. So. I don't imagine. No, this is definitely a in the back pocket for in case of a moment like this. Oh god, Alfred's like me. He always has a bonus move ready. <laughs> uh, Aaron Borg, you're up. Alright. Let's see, which one's more detrimental? I mean, I should, probably should have done this a second ago. I'm sorry, I'm a little drunk. <laughs> no, you're good. It honestly, that that's fine. It makes it entertaining. Too many whiskey and cokes makes the D and D a little more fun. Yeah. So I know lightning bolt is essentially the same as five D eight force versus lightning bolt is sixty six, right? Eight D six. Correct. Mm -hmm. The alternate fireball. Uh. Yeah, now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do lightning bolt instead of psionic blast. I'm gonna cast a lightning bolt right at that bronchiosaurus. All right. He needs to make a deck saving throw. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I've got to pull up. Yes, he does. Yeah. And that's that 14. fourteen. Yep. Yes, sir. So let me. You know, there was one thing that I was worried about that now seems a little bit pointless now. And actually, that you know what? That that... I want to cast Quicken Spell. Um, to uh, I want to use Quicken Spell to just if, if he drops out of that form, cast another Lightning Bolt. Okay. Let's see. When you cast a spell that has a casting time of one action, you can spend two sorcery points to change the casting time to one bonus action for this casting. I'm also reading that while while you know it. I'm also reading it for everybody else and the audience. Um, so yeah, so he basically turned that spell into a bonus action. And I'm gonna, yeah, once that one lands, if it does, I'm gonna... It does. Okay, uh, so let me roll that damage. 8d6. In the meantime, what was that, uh, Seth, that, uh, you were worried Is there about? any way I can make it go higher as far as how many dice I can roll? Because it just, only gives me 6. I think it's just as you level okay. up. So... You mean no, on I'm the die roller, like on, right? Yeah, I'm talking about okay. like... Okay, so... Oh, oh, the advanced roller? Oh, okay, I see. Thank you, Seth. You're oh, uh, yeah, and sorry. On the advanced roller, you can... The one on the far left. There you go. There we go. Yep. Alright. Drop him out of bronchio form? Not yet. Fuck, well, you know what? Um, instead of casting Lightning Bolt as the second spell, I'm mm -hmm. gonna cast, uh... <laughs> Let's cast Cloud of Daggers. No, 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 <laughs> no, like, uh... no, no, I'm, I'm gonna cast Magic Missile at level one. Level one? Okay. Yeah. Level one Magic Miss. Alright. Well, that, that's an automatic hit, so go ahead and... It's 3d6, isn't it? Uh, it's d4. d4 plus 1. It's 3d4 plus uh, 1 per missile, so... Yeah, so 3d4 3 plus, plus 3. Plus three. Oh, oops, I did it. Hang on. Reroll. There we go. There we go. Yep. You're good. Uh, he is still not out of that form. <clears throat> Alright, well, Tanachi, uh, again... Back to the words of uh, your brother and uh, me. Yep. So we'll be Wait, so he's back in he's back in human form. No. Did I hear that correctly? No. No, no. he is not. Sadly, no. God damn it. All right. Well, I guess there's <laughs> nothing to do but to shoot him and back up a little bit. I, I don't want him to hit me. I may be having too much fun as a dinosaur. <laughs> I can tell. No. Alright, so... Roll. You know, we did pretty good. We skipped straight to phase two. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, oh. there and there. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I think... They both hit. 
So oh, all right. And one's a twenty, so yeah. Right, so, so I'll do the first one first. Or yeah, first one first. Back. Yeah. Goes back to regular or not? I will say Dinoform it. Dinoform has been bleeding for a minute. There's the first one. All right. And then what do you do for your crits? Uh, so you do the base damage twice, and then add the modifier. And then put uh, so oh no. So it should have been f yeah. It should be forty six. Forty six plus three. Or yeah. Yeah. Do that. Just reroll it. Forty six plus three. Okay, I'll let you. Okay. Oh, Ooh. I had good numbers on the, the second. <laughs> Go up. I'd Ooh, say, and well, I'd say, I, yeah. I'd say you pretty much got the same thing. It's just you, you actually you got an extra damage on one of them technically. Um, but How he is done to this motherfucker in Dino form. <laughs> in Dino form, <laughs> um, y'all have done. Hold on. I gotta do quick math. I can give you the damage we did to him. I would say about a hundred, probably eighty to a hundred. Y'all have done eighty-nine damage uh, to him in Dino form. Yep. He's gotta I be. Know, I, I know. I just did uh, twenty-two there. Yeah. Uh. So. And it so is... now I'm gonna back up a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Before. Run away. You know what? We could probably do this at least one more time. I think right there is fun. All right, and it is Laxnor's turn. Alrighty. Ah, oh, dang it! I meant to do something. Okay, I was gonna ask: Is a reaction something I would have done? Okay. Uh, a reaction, react when I go. see a creature within thirty feet take damage. Okay. Uh, uh, that's basically, let's say Drew just did. There's like forty opportunities, but. Yeah. So what? What? What does it do? Well, it was uh, theft of vitae. It's uh, one reaction when you take a. It's a saying romance from uh, Grimhalla. Uh, when you take, uh, when you see a creature take with it, I can't talk. One reaction when you, which you take when a creature you see within thirty feet takes damage. So that would have been something I would have done when he got shot, huh? We can, we can, we can count it still because it's. So, so what is what are you trying to do? Okay, well, as part of casting the spell, you spend two hit dice, which um, out of the I think six I have, yeah. Um, you must expend two hit dice, and the spell automatically fails if you do roll the hit dice, and the creature takes necrotic damage. Okay, uh -oh. the creature takes necrotic damage uh, equal to the result. Then you gain a temporary number of hit points equal to the triggering damage plus the necrotic damage you dealt to a maximum of 15. Okay, so spend the two hit dice and then you got to roll. Is that what I'm understanding? Um, I think it just adds to whatever damage Drew did plus oh. hit dice, but it can only go to 15 unless I cast it at a higher level. So Drew already did 20 something. Oh, uh, so yeah. So it would, yeah. Two, 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 and it, when it says hit dice, I'm assuming it means the blood dice, correct? Yeah, your blood dice, yeah. Okay, well then if that's the case, it's a d12, so I'd have to spend 2d12 to determine the necrotic damage I would have dealt. Okay. So another 15. Ooh. So you just did 30 there? Well... On top of it's another on top of your of what you did, yeah, to to him. So it's fifteen necrotic to the dinosaur. So basically, as you like shot him, like Laxnor cast necrotic onto like your bullets, and then they did necrotic damage along with the regular damage. Yes. Oh, nice. Which then gained me fifteen temporary hit points. Oh, nice. Right. And on on that note, well, though, now it's officially your turn. <laughs> now it's, it's actually my turn. We're gonna skip down my little page here, uh, and I want to use Thunder Step. Uh, so 
upon that, I would teleport to an unoccupied space. I'm choosing somewhere back there behind Boom. Um, <laughs> and... Well, I think, yeah, it'd be 90 feet. That's fine. Uh, so he has to make, the dinosaur has to make a constitution, is he still a dinosaur? Yes, he is. Okay, the dinosaur has to make a constitution saving throw, uh, of 14. Constitution saving throw? Alright. Yes. <laughs> he Dang. failed. Dang tank of a dinosaur. He failed the save. Oh, great. Okay, so... That would then be 3d10 thunder damage. Ooh. As All right. well as this now can be heard from up to 300 feet away, so uh, everybody in the village is about to be aware of this. <laughs> if they weren't before, they are now. Alright, so give me the 3d10. 17. Boo boo! Now, that is... Any ask questions, the president turned into a dinosaur and tried to <laughs> And that is just enough... To finally get him out of dino form. Uh, <laughs> go, go, okay. Alfred Dino. Dun, 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 that took way too long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me bring him back in regular form. Okay. You know, I have actually used some spell slots. I'll be darned. So have I. <laughs> 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 like, you know, up until now, I've, like, piddled with a couple spells, but, like, we've taken like, care of the problem. It is like, the I, first problem. Being like a I, spellcaster in this Grim Hollow world ain't easy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I said, I designed this to be a deadly encounter. <sighs> you not even, know, you're, I haven't even hit yet. <laughs> like, yeah, well, so, so, so deadly, <laughs> deadly does not like, mean that you have to die. It just means more like that... <laughs> yeah, like, it, it definitely has to, like, deadly implies that somebody has to be close to death, but it also, like, is also a use, it's a drain of resources. Well, yeah. your brother died again, so we did lose one member. Yeah. Hey, he'll come back, don't worry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, for, unfortunately. All right, so that is Laxnor's turn? Am I yeah. correct? I doubt I get to re-reaction him on my own attack. So. Um, let's hmm. see. It is his turn again. Um, I just realized something. Hmm. It was the start of the day, correct? Um, uh, it was get... 5 a.m., yes. Y'all are gonna be mad at me. <laughs> oh, no. For what? Um, <laughs> he's gonna become a dinosaur again. God. Damn you, Alfred. <laughs> oh my lord, no wonder. <laughs> um, cause... They can do it multiple times a day. Oh. My god. So, who double is a druid. I told you. It's not his turn yet, though, so he can't do it yet. No, he it's goes... It's about to be. Boone. Don't uh, worry. Wait, he goes right before Boone? Yeah, he goes before Boone. Uh, oh, yeah, my count should Boone. Oh, wait, no, yeah, okay. He it was Alfred, but now, because I had to put him in the background, um, you gotcha. can't see him on the, on the turn order now. That's um, fair. yeah. Because, yeah. technically, it's a different token I had to make for Brontosaurus yeah. Alfred. <laughs> um. Oh, no. It's just me. I'm moving now. 40. God, wait, hold on. We did like a hundred and something damage to this man, and you're telling me he, uh... Just turned back into another one. Same thing. Y'all defeated the second form, now it's time for third form. It's like when you see the boss health bar go back up. <laughs> um, he's gonna go charging for Arambor. Oh, this is bullshit. You better teleport. <laughs> Um, and he's gonna try to stomp ya. I'm gonna use shield. Don't worry, I already had my shield card pulled up. I was waiting. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm so fucked. <laughs> okay, um... Does 22 hit with shield? Shield gives you plus 5? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
fuck. I'm not even gonna cast shield. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, usually, go yeah, on. usually shield can be a reaction, so it's fine if you didn't want to cast is. it now. Uh, yeah. And he is doing twenty-seven damage. Okay, that's half my HP gone right there. Uh, and then you have to do you uh, give me a strength saving throw. Oh, that's awesome. You know, something I'm not proficient in. Don't worry. I think me and you are on a very similar boat, and it's scary. Nine plus one, ten. Yeah, the similarities in our characters are actually quite funny. Our personalities are nothing like them. You heard me, Caleb? I'm sorry, what, what'd you get? Ten. Seven. Ten. 10, 10. Um, yeah, uh, you're prone. Fuck me. Alright, it is Boone's turn. Alright. Because Brontosaurus uh, does not get multiple, he does not get multi attack. Well, there's a saving grace. Um, question. Is the statue blocking my line of sight to the Brontosaurus? Um. The <laughs> <laughs> he is, you can probably shoot him in the ass, but. Let's no, because, like, if you. Look, if we put the hat on the Brontosaurus. I'll oh, say he's, gonna leave, he's just going to attack the city. And then the city's going to kill the Brontosaurus. And then we just leave. <laughs> yeah, the city will do it for us. <laughs> the entire point of why we are here is because this fucker endangered the city. Well, he's really doing it now. Yeah, they're gonna hate him. Um, we came in to talk to him, tell him our goodbyes. He set us on fire. He shot us with lightning. Think about it, bro. We could end this all just by putting this hat on this bronchiosaurus. <laughs> Caleb, an answer. Uh, it's, uh, it's sorry. Yes, I have an answer. Um, I'm using the ruler right now. I th I think you're good. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna light him up. I guess. You should put the hat on him. <laughs> <laughs> And then we yeah. Uh, bang. 17. That hits. You know, truthfully, I think I could actually help you get to him and put the hat on him. Teleport to the top of his head. That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> like, wait a minute, I could probably help us get there. Second shot. Ah, that's a miss. God that's damn. a miss, yep. Alright, 13 damage to the new Brontosaur. Yeah, I don't think I had to, I don't think I had to wait between it die. I think as soon as it's his turn, he was able to do it again. Yep. You know, I was really hoping that like the last bit of damage from him being a dinosaur would have like transferred to him. But So, so the way yeah, the way things work is he basically gets the brontosaurus stat block. But his original stats still remain the same beneath that. So, like, once y'all kill the Brontosaurus, he goes back to whatever stats he was before, like, turning to a Brontosaurus. And then back into a Brontosaurus. Yeah, but then he created oh. a new Brontosaurus. Love form. Druids. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna move up. Contrary to our prior decision. Contrary to my prior decision. Throw me the uh, hat. I was going to say, I have a plan for the hat, but I don't know how well it will work. Just throw it to me. By all means, I would... That is a bad idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, he already wants to beat our ass. The hat's just going to make him want to do that more. <laughs> yeah, but if we leave, he's just going to beat the nearest person's ass, right? That's how rage works. Aaron Board, you realize that you realize where you're standing. Well, well yeah, but like, I'll good. be on his head when I put the hat on him. He can't stomp on me. <laughs> on his head. What's he gonna do? Stomp on himself? I just picture him like giraffe into the wall and just. <laughs> Is that it for Boone Stern? Yeah, that's it for right now. Okay, Aaron, Aaron Board, you're up. 
Look, he's got at least five feet worth of real estate up there. <laughs> he's got to. God, these poor trees are probably bowed over now. <laughs> All in favor of the hat idea, say aye. I. I mean, I was aye. kind of tempted at this yeah, point. Like... I, I was like, I think I can get him get up there as well. But... Andrew, you down with the hat? <laughs> Did we lose Drew? Oh, yeah, he had to leave. Oh, shoot, it's 12. Yeah, he... Yeah. We lost him. Okay. Yeah, but this fight, this this fight took longer than I thought. <laughs> so what you doing, Aaron Bor? Oh, sorry. Sorry, y'all lost me for a second. Uh, so what's up? Oh, we're trying I'm, to I'm find out. We can do that. The head's fine. Yeah. Okay, well. So the hat Throw me that goddamn hat. Wow. It's <laughs> got to be on Laxnor's turn because he's got... You're right. No, it's got to be Boone's turn. No, Boone's yeah, turn. Boone. Yeah. yeah. Boone's so turn because he's got the hat. Him, well, you know you what? Gotta... How about this? I've I got will... an idea. Can... Democracy is one. I will... I'll do what I can with a hat, since we have decided this. Will you rule of cool this for me, Caleb? It depends what, what you... What if I teleport onto the top of his head, and then do a lightning bolt right onto the top of his cranium? Yeah, well, uh... You can't dodge that. Yeah, give me... Give me your normal attack, but I'm gonna have him do some saving throw. What's a lightning throw? bolt? So he has to make a saving throw. Oh, okay. Fourteen. Dex. Dex, okay. Oh my. And this is just to do lightning. This is like this is just to get on top of his head and do lightning. This is lightning bolt, yeah. This isn't to do with the, the hat plan anymore. <coughs> well no, I'm getting up here for the hat plan to go ahead and set myself up for Got me. it. Uh, All right, I'm gonna go and do something while I'm up. So there. he succeeded, but he's still gonna take half damage. So go ahead and. But like, I'm on top of his head. Can he really just succeed in a deck saving throw? He rolled an 18. My with a minus one, so 17 <laughs> still. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, because Brontosaurus don't have that dex. He's got minus one dex, but he still made it. Um. Uh, so that's 18, still 18, 14 18. damage. So you st yeah. Oh, it's... <laughs> okay. Well, you're on top of his head now. Sweet. Um, who wants to roll for Drew? Drew's still here. Oh, you is he? Oh, okay, yeah. he is back. Okay. Sorry, I missed that because I dropped for a second. Yeah, we found him. Okay. He, he went missing for a bit. He was in my A for a second. Okay, no. We're trying we're trying to get you there, Drew. We're trying to get you there. <laughs> um Okay. That's all movement. Yep, I saw a move. Bro, I hate working in the rain. My feet end up black because my socks are black. Like, my feet get dyed. That's gonna hit! That's gonna hit! No, ignore that. That's 2d20. Oh, I just... I just saw that, yeah. <laughs> uh... I'll count... Yeah, there you go. I was gonna say, I had... Yeah, they both still... Uh, well, nope, sorry. Second one hits. And then that'll be it for me. Yep. And we're we're trying to get you there. Laxnor. Well, I can I kind of figured that part out. They're already there. Yep. Okay, so then we're we're all good to continue. Let's see. 
Now, how do I want to do this? Yeah, hey, how do you want to do this? Lord. Y'all okay, got it. Well. Y'all are in a throne room with a dinosaur on a tree. It's a big tree. Yeah, it's a big tree. <laughs> you know, that's also my theory for the hat, but now I won't be able to read it. Oh, also, also, I don't have him as the right size. I just realized this token should be bigger. Throw his ass to me. Throw the hat to me, cuz. Oh, put it on his ass real quick. Alright, I am going. Oh. <laughs> I said I, I said I realized this token was the wrong size. Yeah, he's a little bit closer than I thought he would be. Uh, let's see. Yeah, like he's... I said, you could have shot him in the ass from where you were at. <laughs> I'm with Aaron There we go. Larry. Uh, yeah, hold on. <laughs> Where'd you go, buddy? He's underneath. Yeah, he, he went under. I just put him on his head. <laughs> Yeah, he's a gargantuan size, which is about that size, I believe, for a token. Oh my god. This poor tree. <laughs> um, well, I guess I don't have to move anymore. Um, <clears throat> I guess I'll just hit him with another... I guess I'll hit him with a second level witch bolt. Okay. Uh, Actually... Did you ever stop casting Witch Bolt? I had to use Thunderstep. That's right. Yeah. I didn't have to, but I chose to because I didn't yeah. want to stop them. Which um, I do believe stops your your yeah, concentration of Witch Bolt. Concentration, and I was like, dang it. <laughs> but this time I'm far enough away, I hope. Um, yeah. So, okay, well, here we go again. Uh, okay, spell, range spell attack. Switch that back to 20. Modifier. Boom. I will use inspiration. Yep, go for it. Hey, hey you don't have to. That well, was a d12. Well, thank God. Yeah. Why did uh, it not change to 20? That was a d12 <laughs> as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why did it not change to... Okay, whatever. Yeah, you're good. It's... Gonna take uh, a potty break real quick. Oh, I'll be right back. Fantastic. Yeah, you're good. 21, okay. That's gonna hit. I had to use inspiration, nope. So let's get that back. Um, yep. Keep right, your now inspo. I'm back to the D12s. I am glad that I'm making y'all use your resources and your inspiration though with this. Uh, so twelve. Um. Well, okay, it could be worse. Yeah. yeah. Twelve damage, and now he's locked into Witch Bolt. So. <laughs> yep. Uh. He's. He's taking a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of elementals damage. Since, since, uh... Why have I not been using... Ugh, I should have been using more necrotic. But anyways... Yep, since Aaronbor stuck on his head, he's not going to be able to attack him anymore. Um, so he's going to go for boom. While carrying Aaronbor. <laughs> and he's going to try to stop... Does a 24 hit? I would have to say so. Okay. Uh, 18 damage. Alright. And then give me a uh, strength saving throw. Which I just realized... Technically, Aaron Borg shouldn't have been able to do what he had to do because he should have take, taken his action to stand back up. Because he was prone. But. 14. Uh, let's see. You are prone as well now. Oh, no, no, no. You saved. You just saved. You just. You just saved. I'm back, right. Actually, 18 on. damage, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Clear that. 
and uh, that is going to be his turn. Is all right, cool. Once again, can't do much as a dinosaur. It's kind of just stomping and tail swipes. Mm. Ow. Yeah. This is not nice. <laughs> then again, I get it. Yeah, you came to my he, like as you say that he's like you came to my house trying to kill me. He says in dinosaur. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Well, That's what it sounds uh, like. <laughs> so, is tossing the hat up to Arambor, what kind of action is that? <laughs> that, give... Is that like a bonus or a main? I'll make that a... I'll, 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 I'll do it the way I kind of have, like, whenever y'all do, like, things in between, so we'll count it as a bonus. Alright. Uh, um, Boone will <laughs> toss the hat up to Arambor. Alright. Alright. Can I use a reaction to plop that motherfucker on his head? Well, so give me... First, give me strength or dex to make sure you toss it up to him correctly. Can I give you an athletics? Yeah, athletics or... Yeah, athletics or acrobatics works, too. I'm okay, marksman. I'm gonna get... Wait, you're not a marksman, you're a ranger. I'm tripping. God damn it. And the mission to retrieve the hat... Is a natural one. All right. Um. Oh God. I did not Actually, expect not this. One. Um. God, I'm pretty I sure I know where that hat's going. Break. Hold on. <laughs> I'm about to. We might have a new combatant on the field. Oh, oh no. God. Do not. Do not put that motherfucker on my goddamn head. Might not go on your head. Would you throw it on yours? <laughs> well, Did not on purpose, yourself? but let's see what happens. Oh, uh, let's see. Because there's three motherfuckers. Translated <laughs> 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 from the worst situation. <laughs> Best situation, it goes out the window. Worst situation, it lands on Boone or Arambor. Like, my assumption was that it would go over the dinosaur and land through the little grating and go down into the bottom below the tree, but... Something tells me it could be much worse than that. Where's my I guess in the meantime, by the way, I did get an update on Chris. Yeah, that boy slumped apparently. Oh, uh, it's all it's all good. Yeah, he he like all out refused to wake up. So. It's okay. Uh, there's a new combatant on the field. Let me add it. Oh, add it. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know, dude. Something's going on with my toe. The hat itself. <laughs> yeah. Oh my fucking god. Oh. It's a living thing! That's a new problem, I guess. <laughs> um, so it's let's see. If it goes before you. I can hold person it. That's, the last, that's my last well, level spell slot. Let <laughs> me just kill it. <laughs> uh, let me make sure I get its stats uh, I correct. Guess, I guess that was my bonus action. <laughs> it's cloth, so it's got like... It's got, like, hella disadvantage against fire, right? Um, let me double check that as soon as I finish this. Well, I can't tell you that. I guess you'll have to... It's cloth. That motherfucker will catch on fire. Uh, and it is actually right after Boone on the turn order now. Oh, fantastic. It got a six. Okay. Well, I guess in the meantime, seeing that I've fucked up with that, I'm going to take two... Actually, no, I'm going to heal myself. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds at second level. Alright. All right. Anything else? Uh, well, I could run away. You but could. Would that give the hat the attack of opportunity? 
I'm not worried about the fucking hats, man. <laughs> I guess, you know what? I guess the dinosaur is close enough at this fucking point. Yeah, it is. Alright, that brings Boone back up to 46. And Boone is... Well oh, for this. Boone just kind of looks like... It is what it is, man. <laughs> At the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, alright, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> just kind of stands there. He's like, either you're gonna die, or some other bullshit's gonna happen. <laughs> All right, so it's the hat's turn. Is I that my? Okay, I was making sure I understood correctly where we were. Um, Boone's like, Boone will yell, "I dropped the fucking hat." <laughs> Wouldn't hat's turn technically start next round? No, it's active. On, it's it, it's actively on the field now. This uh, thing was a regret. I should have kept it to myself. <laughs> I, I told you Plan Hat was a risky operation. <laughs> just put a dagger in it, fucking through the ground, and it not like move a fucking inch. Uh, Boone, give me a charisma saving throw. Oh, great. I I did I did I did fifty fifty it. It was either Boone or the dinosaur. They're they're the only ones within its reach. Alright. Natural Ooh. 20. Ooh! Okay. Uh, so right. it it tries to attach itself to your head, but having seen how it works before or something, like, you, you realize, like, you know what it's trying to do. And I imagine the, like, hat starts whispering shit and Boone just kind of, like, responds to the hat. Oh, fuck that. My it's... head's not a place you want to be. It's like, kill, 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 The hand's up there, and it's like, oh, God, sees what's in your mind. <laughs> uh, the hat runs in horror. It, and so it kind of, yeah, it kind of flops off of you, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, y you, uh, in fact, you actually recover catching it again. Uh, also, it cannot try to possess you again. Neat. Uh, now I'll you have, have a hat wait. again. I'll have to wait until my next turn to do something with it. Yeah, so it is off the board again. That was short lived. <laughs> put the rank away. It it so tried. It tried. <laughs> it's Aaron Moore's turn. Yeah. The hat saw its freedom for a short amount of time. It was like, I'm free, I'm free. You know, by the time this is all over, I'm gonna need like a bag of holding for all my like, creatures. <laughs> All right, Arambor. Arambor is going to abandon the hat gave it to the rabbit. He's going to poof over here, and he is going to use. Yeah, I guess. Baggage. I guess earlier I should have clarified with that with that bag for the rabbit if it was the same. That would have been interesting because the rabbit had came out of the bag and had the hat on. Oh god. <laughs> Aaron Boar is going to cast a cloud of daggers. Yep. Which, that just takes up the entirety of Alfric's current sphere. So... <laughs> yeah, but also, I believe, it's a bunch of D4s. Uh, yes, I believe so. Let me check. I'm trouble checking as well. It is... 4D4 slashing damage. Alright. And I'm going to concentrate on it, so... Yep, and he's just standing there, so he's just gonna take it. Is it sad to... Oh. Alright. Is it sad the rabbit has a better AC than I do? Uh, don't you need to put a circle where I casted it so I can move it? Yeah, let me... Yeah, let me... I, I know I have something for that, actually. Hold on. Um, We're fighting the, for our lives out here! In the meantime, um, anything else? Yeah. 
You know. I don't have anything else I can do. I'm good. Okay. Did you just do damage to it, Ethan? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Alright, well, screw it. I guess I'll hit it with the, uh, where did it go? Uh, theft of Vitae again. So... Let me resize that, because it's supposed to be, what, five? I think it's a five foot radius? Is it five foot or two foot? I think it's five. I think a cloud that, of daggers? Yeah. I think that's what I read. Uh, five foot cube, yeah. Where do you want it? Here, I'll, I'll give you control. Give me a second. Save. There you go. You got control of it, Aaron Boar. Wait. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, in the meantime, um, an yeah. additional 11 necrotic damage. Okay. Uh, and I believe it is, we are back to Tanachi. You know, I may be an idiot, but did that just interrupt my uh, concentration? Um, uh, That's a spell, isn't it? Yeah. Or is it... Yeah. What did nope. I, uh, what I miss? He uh, used it. He kept the... Vite after Ethan attacked, and I was like, wait a minute, that ruined my concentration, didn't it? Yeah, it ruins Why? his wood. Because it's a spell on top of his concentration spell. I mean, it's a reaction it's spell, but no like. Class feature. It's a spell <laughs> slot, like, spell. Yeah, it's an actual yeah. spell slot, How yeah. Does break my concentration? Hit. No, 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 not your, not yours. Aaron, uh, his. I had, his witch I bolt. Had witch bolt. Yeah, I had witch bolt no, concentrated. Okay. Rip. Oh well, it did, it did more damage than I was probably going to get with a single dice anyway, All right. so. Alright, do we still have Drew? What, what you got? Yeah, yeah put the hurry in on this one. It's officially uh, going to be our longest session. <laughs> Alright, you hit it t both times. Uh, do the first attack first. Or damage first. I had 20 on the second one. Yep. Do the first damage first. Nine. All right. And then go ahead and do your your nat your uh, crit damage. Woo. Alright. Uh, he is also beyond bleeding at this point in dino form. Oh yeah, the daggers made sure of that. Yeah, he's he's been bleeding for a minute. I figured y'all are just doing so much damage at this point, like y'all don't care. Y'all just want to know when it's no longer a dino. <laughs> uh, Alright, and I guess Tanachi's kind of sticking where he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Black Snore. <laughs> you got rid of your right. witch bolt again. What's up? Well, let's just, just do that over again. So. <laughs> Take uh, three. I'm at third level. Okay. Um, so that would be... Oh, wait, no. Don't roll three three twenty. That would have been nice, but... Uh, 19. That will indeed hit... Thirty-three! Ooh, 212s. Look at that. You love to see it. Okay, here's where it's gonna get. Now, I guess that would've knocked him out of the, uh, dino, but does it, he can... Does it that does. Roll over? It does, and it does. Oh, fantastic. It, how much more can he take? Uh, oh, so you... you still got human hit points. Yes. Yeah. So, he is out of dino form. Okay. Good. And then, let me add the damage you just... His turn next, so he's probably gonna do it one more fucking time. <sighs> Why is it you that keeps breaking him out of dino form? <laughs> it's just the, the way the cookie crumbles. 
Hold on, let me put him in the right spot. Sorry. And then... Wait, wait, if he starts his turn, he takes damage in the Cloud of Daggers. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And then, um... Oh, let me pick Alfric, not the Cloud. God. <laughs> Hold on, let me move the Cloud for a second so I can actually do the damage on him that he took. Uh... Because four of that damage went to regular him. Hang on, uh, man. He's got that much health of the... Oh, God. Alright. Is that it for Laxnor? Um... No, I guess I'm just, um... Uh, I need to get like a... A, a side mission. I can do, but no, I'll, um, I'll, I'll leave that be for now, so. Alright. Uh, so yeah, he's gonna start his turn. Go ahead and cloud, uh, let me. Yep, uh, go ahead and cloud of daggers him. Give, give him that 44, yep. Eight again. Not an eight. Okay, once again, I gotta move that cloud just so I can damage him. Cloud. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll just leave it there. Like we we know he's in it. Um, yeah. Well, actually, he's leaving it this turn. Um, oh well. Because hmm. you know the smart thing to do, not stand in the in the cloud. Um, let's see. You know, if he wanted to talk shit, now would be the time to do it. Um, you know, he's kind of, you know how he is. He's more stoic than shit talking. Mm. He's not gonna uh, do this with a zingy one-liner before becoming a dinosaur again. No. Um, trying to figure out where his spellcasting modifier is. Is that, um... That's based on wisdom, right? Yeah, he's a druid, right? Yeah. It's wisdom. Okay. Okay, well, he's gonna get out of the daggers. So, we can actually put the daggers back where they were after I move them. He's gonna move towards Spoon. It's like, it didn't have to be this way. And he's gonna go ahead and shoot him in the face. He's actually gonna ma. Ooh, that could work. Think I want to ma too. He's gonna mask your wounds himself. No. Oh. Motherfucker. Uh, let's see. Oh, does that mean my witch bolt no longer works? Uh, no, it, sh it still works. Oh, thank God. Because I swear, I was going to be like, God. And he's going to take 23 health back. Oh, you motherfuckers. You could have just did the job, came back, and you could have left. And that's going to be, I believe that's going to be his turn. Let me double check. Mm. Yeah, because that takes a whole action. Um, so, Boone. All right. Well, uh... He's in point blank range, why not? Yep. I'll take my shots at him. So, first shot. 
Oh shit, natural 20. <laughs> Go ahead and do damage. Shoot him in the face. <laughs> So, bang, 23 for the first one. Yeah, so basically, he approaches you and goes, you could have just done the job and left. And then as he finishes saying that, you just pull up your gun right to his face and plop. Blow his head right. off. Uh, not quite, but second shot. Like... <laughs> Where the fuck did it go? I don't know. I will say, if you get another hit like that... <laughs> well, who knows. That was a pretty good, that was a pretty good hit. Oh, no! Oh! I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> okay, uh, that one whiffs. Um. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you know what? I know this is rather unsportsmanlike, but since he's like within five feet, as a bonus action, can I just like? Uh, Are you gonna spit on him or something? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, because that's a bonus action. Is that a bonus action you can take? Yeah. Well, not really. <laughs> Is it yeah that, or no? <laughs> I know that you can make an attack with your offhand. Yeah. A rifle's a two-handed weapon. Oh. Mm. Which is kind of like why... I'm gonna why go you? with no on that. Yeah, we're gonna go with no on that one. <laughs> so... You had me in the, you had me in the first the half. Walks up to me, talk shit, and immediately, like... Loses. Say that you gets, you like, not took Boone, all gets, of that back. Uh, like, as soon as, like, Alfred walks up and talks shit, like, a Boone takes the rifle to, like, the side of his face and just blows that half of it off and then tries to finish him off and goes, it, it just doesn't work. It's like, fuck. <laughs> Have no fear. Air boy is here. Vaporization is here. Boone will well. flip him off, I guess. You talk too much. <laughs> Alright. Arambor. Alright, here comes the last level 3 spell slot to hit him with lightning bolt again. Oh, is that me? Yeah, I'm breaking my concentration on Cloud of Daggers to fucking yeah. dexterity saving throw. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll remove the cloud after I do the save. You said dex? Mm-hmm. Alright, uh, you hit him. Fuck yeah, I did. Alright. Let's just hope this works, boys. Hmm. There it is. And how do you want to do this? Um, can I vaporize him? Like, yeah. Literally, quite literally, turn him into dust. Yeah. So, like, as you shoot your 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 lightning. Yeah, I want you... to do like a clap and then glide my my top hand up the arm of my bottom hand, and then the lightning bolt just comes from it. And it just vaporizes them, like like the old. Uh, you ever seen Mars Attacks? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he just you just, like kind of see the surge of lightning go through him, and almost see like Boone. Since you're so close to him, you see like his skeletal form for a second before he just poof into no. into nothing. And that's it. You know what really could have helped him out, though? Mm. A nice, good old loaded tea. Like, from our sponsor! 
Tough Nutrition is a loaded tea shop in Mobile, Alabama who provides the necessary start for your day when you need that little bit of extra caffeine as well as snack coffees. They also provide protein shakes for post-workout or meal replacements if you're trying to take more care of your sugar intake while still having a good tasting drink. They can be found at 5821 Old Trail Road in Suite A right across from the University of South Alabama and are open 6 to 6 Monday through Friday, 6 to 4 on Saturdays and 8 to 4 on Sundays. South Nutrition also provides optional call-in orders and deliveries within a 5-mile radius with the phone number appearing on screen now. As long as the Boom Boys are doing the deck collection storyline, which this is the last episode of that, uh, if you go to South Nutrition and provide them with the code on screen now, that reads BOOM24, then you can get a 10% discount on your next drink. That's right, a full 10% off each time you enter and tell them our code BOOM24 at South Nutrition on 5821 Old Trail Road, Mobile, Alabama, in Suite A. And with that, with this being the last time, you only have a month left after this episode airs to use our code. So, go see them. All right. And with that, y'all are done with Alfric. Um, let me change up the tunes now that y'all are out of such danger. <laughs> um, I assume at this point y'all want to check in with Pops, get paid, yeah, and then... Bell slot and 20 hit, 27 hit points later. <laughs> uh, there's one thing. Is there... Boone will, like, ask... He'll reach into his pocket for, like, a piece of paper... Yeah. And he will write down essentially that what he found was like Patriarch Alfric uh, was eliminated for the crime of treason against the people of East Northern Lands and endangering the public. Let's get paid. I need gold in my pocket. I'm so should I... Um... Should I not write the Boone Boys on his tunic? You can if you want. Ah, great. Like, Boone is the person of... Uh, the look on Boone's face is very much like... Person who... Had to put down a dog... That was rabid. Ah, great. And I'm just gonna start... You know, <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, Laxnor, Laxnor's like... Boone Boys was here... <laughs> He'll search uh, Alfred, see if he had anything on him. Yeah, um, you find his obviously his staff, right? Um, mm -hmm. and then also on him was, in fact, funny enough, seventy two hundred gold on him. Seventy two hundred. Oh. Yeah, so seven thousand two hundred. Uh, oh, wait, at least I have to get paid. Okay. Gold? Can I have some? Yeah, you're included when I was doing the math earlier. Uh, we should get... You would... F since I guess, yeah, from Alfric, and we'll get paid by Boone's father as well. Uh, and as, like, you're checking the bodies, stumbling through the door is good old Aaron. <laughs> and so okay. each of us, from Alfric's corpse... Gets one thousand four hundred forty gold. One thousand four hundred and forty. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, side note, uh, I did a hundred damage in that fight. But <laughs> yes, one thousand four hundred and forty. Yeah. And this is before uh, Jeremiah pays us, so keep that in mind. Wait, I could buy a house after this. Yeah. I'm just going to point this out, though. Uh, I never gave anybody the money for the gems. I'm just going to say that clearly now. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> think you did. <laughs> uh, but essentially, as soon as Boone is done, so there was the staff and yeah. the money. That was everything? Um, yeah. He, he, right. he kept, yeah, he basically, you know, kept a simple life. Yeah, Boone will... Um, 
It's your ordinary staff. Oh, nothing, okay. nothing too if you magical. Wanted, if you want it, you can take it, man. I don't have any use for it. New fella, would you care for a staff? Not at all. I'm a sword man. Oh, well, gladly, then I'll take it. Alright. Um, and with that, Boone will essentially put the letter of, like, here's why. Yeah, so as you're writing, like I said, Aaron stumbles in, and he's like, oh. he, like, stumbles in, like, literally stumbles in, because, uh, what y'all did not notice at the time, because y'all were focused, was that Aaron's hungover. Uh, <laughs> and that's part the drunk man. Yeah, and he walks in and he's like, "Oh, oh, I see you guys did it. Good job. Oh, I was, I was gonna help you guys. I was gonna help you guys, but you know, yeah, you, you, you lost me there for a second. Yeah, we 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 thought we were being followed. It's nothing to worry about. Uh, how have you been, friend? You, you look a little worse for wear. I'm good. Uh, so the good news is, um, now that you guys are once once y'all get paid up with Jeremiah, I'm done with my contract with him. So like, and I've gotten word from Bryn that he wants to you know he wants to do a meetup because it's been a, been a while. Usually me and him you know try to meet up every now and then. So, no, to go to the south, Mr. Aaron, I'm sorry. Well, Charnel's That's... to the south, Aaron Bohr. I haven't seen a world map yet, so... No, you haven't, because, well, also, like, Aaron Bohr wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't, he wouldn't know the world yet. Yeah, but Boone would, since he's had to fucking walk most of it. <laughs> yeah, so, Br Aaron's like, yeah, Bryn is in Charnel, which is, like, to the south of here, so... Sounds sounds like we're all headed the same way. No. Good news, we have a wagon. <laughs> oh, y'all have you have a wagon now? No. Ah, oh, come on, right. new fella. Boom boy specific. Okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Aaron Bohr. I vouched for you. Back with him. No, I'm vouching for him back with you. Alright? He's not one of the boom boys. And you're also on trial. This is your trial oh, week. This is false. I've had my <laughs> trial week. No, it's it has three been days. three days. I it's been four. <laughs> it's been like four. It's been like four to five days, but yeah. It's probably about five now, yeah, because we had a three day rest, the one day in the woods. We're here now. Yeah. We're coming up on the morning of the 6th. Not quite yet, yeah, yeah. He's a hungover man. Trust me. He is far from a threat. Besides, I'm pretty sure we had a good adventure in a tavern once, and I can trust any man I've been to the tavern with. Erembor is going to message Boone, like, his entire, like, what he went through. Because I don't think Erembor is oh. the group yet what oh. he's went through. Okay, so we're, we're just diving straight yeah. into it. And it's just a message, so like it's not like everyone can hear it. No, 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 no. Yeah. Do you? So, so. Reason as to why I don't trust people. So, for the sake of the audience, since this is a you know show, um, would you mind saying out loud, and we will trust that there will be no, you know, no cheating. Yes. yes. Mm. Okay. You all know I'm a very fair individual. Yeah. Come on. So you want me to go over yeah. the backstory? Yeah, Aaron Borg, take, take stage. Alright, well... See, I come from a place called the Shadowfell. Mm -hmm. And the Shadowfell... We, we live under the rule of the Raven Queen. The Raven Queen likes to manipulate our Shadarkai and to... Seeing to her will, but in secret she just steals your, your soul bit by bit. It's not a pleasant or good feeling experience. So me and a group of Shadar Kai decided to flee the Shadowfell. We found a wizard who could cast a planier realm door, and we were being ambushed, so he sent us as soon as he could. 
but we were supposed to go to the material plane, ended up in a Tharsis. And, uh... So, me and my group of Shadar Kai hunkered down for about a month, made a pretty nice small communion, until one day, f followers of Orcus found us. From there, they slaughtered my entire group, tied me up onto a post to watch, burned my face closed with a metal mask, and gouged one of my eyes out. While they tortured my entire family and everyone I fought to protect for the past three months. So, yeah, not very trustworthy. Not a very trustworthy individual, or not very trusting individual. You really gotta earn his trust. And Aaron has earned none. Counterpoint. He can't earn your trust if you keep pushing him away. This is fair, but I don't trust your father as far oh, as I can no, throw it. no, you shouldn't. And he seems to be a lackey of your father. Mm, no, I believe he's freelance as well. Uh, Once this job is done, I he's off. Alright, whatever. I'm not going to be best friends with him. Oh, you don't have to. So anyway, there, and as I was saying, yeah, you'll enjoy the wagon. It's a nice sit bench seat in the back, and uh, I heard nope. there are those it. that like to take naps. I shall partake in one of those. I get the good seat. Aaron rides bitch. I planned on taking a nap in that seat. <laughs> All right. There aren't many good seats in the wagon to begin with. Aaron kind of shrugs it off. He's like, yeah, I get it. I'm not part of the crew officially, so... Welcome to the team. But y'all y'all should at least still head back to your dad so you can get paid. Oh, yes, yeah. that would be, uh, that'd be very important. Because it's going to be a long trip. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, y'all... Just from the body, you he said it was, what, 1440? 1, oh, 1440. Yeah, so 1440. So I am at 1,445 gold. <laughs> hey! Coming up, Aaron Borg's coming up in the world. I guess we not. all are. <laughs> um, I will get my men. Yeah. So, yeah, Aaron's like, yeah, we should probably head back because it's going to be a long trip down to to Bonsalls, to Bonsox. It's uh, mm. almost a month. God, it's a month. Alright. So. so, as yeah, we'll make our way back to Fink Manor. Yeah, so. No, uh, Kinder's there. Uh, answers Do you have the clothes on? What do you think? Of course not. <laughs> Jeremiah's not gonna give him respect just because you asked nicely. Kinder male or female? Kinder is Kinder. <laughs> nice yes. Man. The answer Kinder is yes. Is <laughs> um, he, he's, he's, he's male. At least male presenting. So. As, as far as a wooden creature. Person. Wooden person can be, yeah. Okay. There are no... Yeah, he's yeah. The, they're like, the, yeah, it's like Pinocchio sort of deal. Gotcha. I didn't realize that. Um, so he answers and he's like, ah, the masters have returned. Excellent. I take it that the mission was successful. Can I give him a sock? Tell him to shut up. <laughs> He's like a sock. I've never had I've never had clothes before. And he puts it on his hand like a hand puppet. <laughs> like a little sock puppet. He's like, You wear it like this, correct? Yes. <laughs> oh 
Thank you, sirs. Uh, I shall lead you to the masters at once. And he, like, proudly starts walking with the sock puppet hand. And, like, kind of swinging it back and forth like he's showing it off. And well, at least someone's happy today. <laughs> I want to let you know that if you fill it with rocks, it makes for an excellent weapon. Oh. Mas Master, Master Jeremiah would never allow me to have a weapon before. Find some rocks. Show them what's good. We're gonna get Kinder fucking flung <laughs> off the side of one of these treetops. <laughs> it's just a word of advice, Kinder. You don't have to take it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> free yourself. <laughs> Aaron Bor sees like Aaron Bor sees a piece of himself in Kinder. I want to give Kinder one of my daggers. <laughs> it's like a it's like a kindred spirit. Uh, Should I give him one of my daggers? Uh, he... <laughs> and he, drive uh, it through the heart of Jeremiah when you see fit. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let me pull some stuff up. <laughs> I'll, I'll, in the meantime, he does lead you to him. And Jer you don't like your dad, right, Boone? You won't have hate for me if I have him killed. I would prefer that you did not try to okay, assassinate my Never mind. <laughs> don't, don't give him the knife, then. <laughs> oh, I'm so ready for Kinder to... <laughs> I'm tired but, of it! You've been here since I was a boy, but I will fucking end you. <laughs> I was so ready for Kinder to start a revolution. <laughs> Oh, I was I gonna incited the revolution with such a single <laughs> dagger in a sock. <laughs> yeah, you would get the letter that would come. It would be. It wouldn't be. It'd be the same like mailing stationery, but then it would just be written from Kinder. God, dude, that would be more of a terrorist it, than Luke. It would be. It would be though in terrible handwriting because Kinder doesn't know how to write. Yes, it would be. I feel like it would become a terrorist. To, to you would be like. like he is. <laughs> Like, the way he'd be reading it, it would be like reading something that Charlie from Always Sunny wrote. Oh, oh no. God. <laughs> <laughs> Pepe Sylvia, Pepe Sylvia. <laughs> I got a whole box full of Pepe Sylvia. <laughs> Alright, so, Kinder leads you, and he, and he makes sure that when he opens uh, the door to Jeremiah's office, that he uses his non-sock hand, because he's showing off the puppet hand, and he's, like, making voices with it, having it talk. And he's oh, like, yeah. he's like, Masters, the, your, your sons have returned. And he's, like, using the puppet to talk. We've been throwing rock cats for years, Dennis. <laughs> Jeremiah just takes a gun out of his, like, drawer. <laughs> and Jer Jeremiah looks at, Jeremiah looks at what Kinder has, and he's like, Kinder, what have you there? Oh, uh, uh, and he, like, hides his arm behind his back. Uh, uh, nothing, sirs. Uh, it's nothing. It better be. I gave him a sock. Treat your housemates with respect. I see. In game. Um. <laughs> Drop the mic. <laughs> he looks at, he looks at Boone. Like, he, he's not even, like, acknowledging Aaron Bohr. And he looks at Boone, and he's like, Better get your own house in order. Uh. But. You did the job. Here's payment. Mm. And he... And then I want, I want to look over at Boone and say, I want to start having a freak-out moment. And be like, Oh, house in order? Is this your house in order? And I want to start stripping everything but my scarf. You know what? <laughs> Boone's just gonna, like, rub his eyes. Is this in With order? Him. Would you have me walk around butt-fucking naked? I'm just gonna be feeding <laughs> carrots to my rabbit. <laughs> you just you do say it's in the company you keep. Jeremiah. Of course I would have you clothed. You are at least 
a person. Hey, can, at least at least wait for me to leave the room. Kinder is and nothing. If man speaks. He is a person. He is but wood. He has a soul. That is debatable. And uh, he goes ahead and just slides the the bag over to Boone and kind of um, waves his hand as if to dismiss you. I will not merely be dismissed. You will look at this dick. <laughs> <laughs> and you will tell me why Kindred shan't be clothed. Here we go. <laughs> Are you really going to start something when you? I'm giving you leave yes. of the city? Yes. Well, tell Marshavo. Uh, oh, yeah, name the rabbit. Tell Marshavo. We have money to spend. I'm hoping one of my friends would stop me before I make a stupid decision, because Aaron <laughs> is going to keep going. Yeah, because, uh... I will say, if this keeps going... We're gonna have to call it, and this might not be the last episode of Debt Collection, actually. <laughs> Alright. Good <Good-debber> every boy. <laughs> Boone is like... I, I'm surrounded by fucking lunatics. Aaron right. Boar, put your goddamn clothes on. Fine. Only Old because man. You'll... Mm -hmm. mm. Consider this. Since I know that in truth you don't much care about me, Tanachi, or Kinder. At least in regards to several things. Perhaps it would look better if your servant were clothed. It might help you in future dealings with places that aren't northern. East Northern ones. Remember, the rest of Barak does look at us as, well, murderous tree dwellers. And you have a new place to lead. I'll so start acting like it. I will take your words into advisement. I would suggest that, for now, while you would be generally welcomed here, maybe for the next couple weeks, do not uh, be seen in Umaric. And you won't be able to see me, for I am a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Thank you yep. for your business. Take care of yourself, uh -huh. old man. Alright. So, Kinder leads you out of the house. Uh, once he shuts the office door for Jeremiah, he starts playing with the sock puppet again. <laughs> so, uh, once we're oh, presumably oh out of earshot of the office... Uh, and, like, I imagine on the way out, like, damn near the front door steps, Boone will take 20 gold from his pocket, and he will give it to Kinder. Uh, what, uh, what does Kinder do with... Shh. Do not tell my father of this. All right. What does Kinder do with gold? There is a tailor on 3rd Street. Go in there, ask him for a suit, tell him I sent you. Understand? Yes, masters. The suit is yours to do whatever you wish with. Clear? Yes, sir. Mm. And, uh... Regardless of whatever my father says. And if he does say anything, just tell him it was a gift from me. 
Yes, host. And as before you can really like walk out the door, um, Kinder kind of hugs you and thank you. Want to give Kinder a wink? Revolt. Which is. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't winking for Aaron Board just blinking? Yes. Yes, <laughs> just blinking. <laughs> Give him a thumbs up so he knows what's going on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, Aaron Board, like, winks and then realizes, oh, wait. Thumbs up. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Kinder is just like, I see. I should go find the biggest rock. The biggest rock. <laughs> Boone's also like, you could certainly try. <laughs> Knowing that like his father damn well just has a bunch of shit ready for in case someone pulls something. <laughs> the biggest uh, rock. <laughs> just to, uh... Yeah, I'll wait till after y'all leave. <laughs> Alright. I will tell you what kinder stats are <laughs> after you leave. Yeah, well, we leave. <laughs> okay, uh, kin kinder, sta kinder stats are literally Mouse's stats. Oh, yeah, that, oh, Kinder. <laughs> kinder, no. Um, yeah, kinder you never... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, unless a whole army of Kinders happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. Um, but also to be expected, this is you know, grim dark fantasy. It, it, it's yeah, you never know. Maybe you have inspired. You have inspired the some of, hope. The chances of an army of kindred are low, but never zero. Yeah, <laughs> like you have inspired some hope. Not just in, in Kinder, but also in the town. Because, like, y'all, while you, you may not ultimately realize what y'all have done for Ulmark, it's, you've done a lot. Mm. Even if it felt like this was definitely a, you were dealing, you were choosing between one bad situation or the other in terms of who to leave in charge here. Mm -hmm. But... You do feel a slight sense of, like, things are better than they have been over the past. Like, the last year was not great. But maybe this year will be different. Oh yeah, the last year for me sucked. Same here, buddy. <laughs> I've had a wonderful time. Anyway. Oh, how wondrous. <laughs> I've had a great D&D &D night with all you. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, that is actually, yeah, that is going to be the end of Grim Hollow Boom Boy's deck collection. Um, I assume should our characters probably stock up before they depart again. Yeah. Yeah, so y'all are, y'all are leaving, and y'all are making your way out of, uh, Umark, along with Aaron in tow, and on your way to Sharnalt, and we will start our next arc next time with the start of the Blood Knight and the Five Relics. That's a fucking title. The Blood uh, Relic. Yeah. Uh, nope, that's not what was said. Blood Knight and the Five Relics. Yeah. The Blood Relics. <laughs> I think this is Laxnor. Yeah, good night. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, Thank you, everybody, for watching Grim Hollow Boom Boys Debt Collection Session 10 up. Be sure to like, comment, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you really like our content, check out the Patreon, which is linked down below, where you can watch our YouTube content before it is released publicly. Um, also, be sure to check out our Discord, where you can become a part of our community and listen in on the game. We actually had somebody listening in on today, and it seemed like they had a good time based on the chats, because uh, while they are muted, we still look at the chats and see what's, how everybody's feeling about the game. 
Um, and that's a way to kind of even beat the Patreon to our game, because uh, you're here while we're recording it. Um, and you don't have to be a Patreon member for that. Um, try to think if there's anything else. Uh, and that's the chat right there. Uh, <laughs> um, I think that's it on my end, uh, Seth. Go ahead and speaking of D&D stuff. Yeah. Hello there. Every Sunday from 5 to 7 Central Standard Time, you can catch me and some friends of ours over on the Trials of Nebu at the Steam Dungeon on YouTube. Boy oh boy, last session was eventful. Uh, I flung my assassination target into the astral plane. It's where dead gods hang out. Also, we may have had some collateral damage because one of our party members is now flat broke and with no cooking utensils. This is important because they're a magical chef. They're really mad about it. Anyhow, if you want to see that result, you can go and watch the show. Alright, and uh, once again, some shoutouts that I, that I should make. Uh, once again, fantastic art for our characters and for the splash page. All thanks to Anastasia Flistova. Her uh, Fiverr will be linked down below. She was fantastic to work with. She made all of the brand new character designs. Um, and then also shout out to um, our sponsor, uh, South Nutrition, uh, once more. Um, once again, this is the last month to go see them uh, and use our code BOOM24. So, as soon as this episode is live on YouTube, one month from, from when this airs, uh, and then it's gone. It's it gone. And I can't tell you when it will be back, because who knows the next time we'll be sponsored with them. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think that is officially everything. Um, so, we will see you all next time, once again, with the start of the Blood Knight and the Five Relics arc. And... Have a fantastic evening. Bye.